Mmm, yummy menu sounds. Isn't that great? That's what everybody wants, right? Delicious, yummy menu sounds. How's everyone doing? Welcome on back to more Danganronpa. I know things look a bit different, that's for sure, but I'm still trying to get used to the new location and everything. So if things look a bit different, ah, don't mind that. But either way, welcome back, everybody. How's everybody doing? Who's ready for some dang ran on? I will love some fun. Oh, yeah, what was happening last time? So there were so many things going on last time. Is there like some kind of history? Because it's like, what happened last time? The sloth stares into my soul from behind the chair. Don't mind him. It's all good, though. It's all good. Everything is all right. No need to worry about the sloth behind my chair at all. But everything's going to be just fine. Ah, Kira, thank you for the 100 bit of I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hope everybody's doing okay. Hope everybody's getting used to the bam bam. The hat and the short. But yeah, we're checking out a new floor, right? I kind of forgot what happened last time. If anybody can... Do I have to watch last the last time I streamed this game, which was a while ago? Where's the green screen? The green screen can't fit anymore. I can't do any more green screen. So that is now gone. Green screen now gone for now. Well, I know two people died, though. That I know for sure. Two people died last time. It's just that I'm trying to remember what is it I'm supposed to do next. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do next. Is it free time? No, it, is it? I don't know. I should have probably watched the stream, but I was busy doing other stuff as well. I was trying to... Oh, oh okay, so I, I accidentally found the right place. Yes, I do remember about the AI in the locker room. I do remember that. Come on. Why are you just standing there? We need to get to the repository. Huh? You mean... Indeed. I found them. Ah, he from me and Taka's bodies have both been hidden in the repository. We've been trying to search for the bodies because they disappeared. Imagine losing dead bodies, am I right? Imagine losing dead bodies, isn't that crazy? I've already told Hina and Sakura, we'll go on ahead. Their bodies were in the repository? But yeah, how's everybody been doing since the last time I streamed? It's been about a week or so, right? It's been about a while since I've streamed, so I hope everybody's been okay. What's a repository? Good question. What the fuck's a repository? I'm pretty sure if I did my fast tracking, I can find the repository. Let's see. What does a repository look like? If I can find what a repository looks like, I should probably just search the other areas. Let me see. So that's not it. Repository, repository. These are all the rooms. These are not repositories. The repository has to be in one of these floors, though, that's for sure. Maybe if I get there, I'll know what a repository is. And so far, no repository. The equipment room. Your friend recently played this game? Oh, here it is, repository. It's in the third floor, yet I cannot... Okay, I guess I gotta go down to the third floor. Wait, I should have... I'm a doofus, Chad. I'm a doofus. I gotta find out what that is. Equipment room. Repository art room and rec room. Oh, wait. It's on this floor. The repository is over here. Yeah, I know. It's over here. It's through, it's through this room. I just found out myself. It's back there. Are the bodies here somewhere? Over, over there! Up ahead is the repository. The doorknob turned. I guess it's unlocked. Then I have no choice but to go inside. I open the door slowly. So I opened the door slowly. And when I entered, I saw. Well, I already know they're dead. So what's the point? The two bodies that had disappeared were right there. No, CV, we're not, we're not, wrong game. The smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. 
And then, I heard the announcement for a second time. That's the sound of my bell. Hello, Monokuma. It's been a while. A body has been discovered. Gasp. I can't believe it. After a certain amount of time, which you a may body use however you like, has been discovered. Well, two bodies have been begin. discovered. Bodies have been discovered. See he? Oh, there he is. And so here we are. Without further ado, let me give you all the next Monokuma file. I was gonna hand them out when you found the bodies the first time, but I thought something might happen. It was really hard to resist, but turns out I was right. Just hand it over already. Now make sure to investigate with all your mental might and prepare for the class trial. Oh, uh, see you later. By the way, chat, how's the audio right now? Audio a okay with everybody? I just love the sound effect when it comes out. Well then, now that we found the bodies, all that's left is to uncover the culprit. What the heck? Hold on. How can you be so... so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know? Dead, gone forever, they're never coming back. Awful. This is all just too awful. Ina suddenly burst into tears. She clutched at Hifumi's lifeless body. Who, who would do this? Oh, they're talking, sorry about that. But it does stink when your friends die and they just got covered in, they just got covered in paint. Large wet tears fell from her eyes. The tears landed on Hifumi's cheeks. If this were some world of make-believe, that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes. But this wasn't a movie. It was a game. And the tears suddenly brought him back. Wait, what? It did- what? That was weird. This wasn't... <sighs> She's alive again? Again? Where am I? Okay, that's... So cold. That is so weird, cold. I was about to say, and, the, and, and then that, that was the tear that brought him back to life. That... Did I crawl it or what? Hifumi, wake up! Does anyone remember what happened to Hifumi? Uh, he got hit by Justice Hammer. I forgot which one, but it was a Justice Hammer. Either way, welcome, Kane. A Spongebob movie moment. The Wait, why did I end up over there? I'm sorry. Oh, oh, Kane, you broke me. You broke me. You broke me. Ah. You broke me with them. I got bonked out of my frame. That's so funny. I thought I fixed it, though. I swear I fixed it. Do I, do I gotta do I gotta fix it again because it didn't work? Give me a second, chat. I'm gonna try to fix it real quick. Just give me one second, real quick, because that was not supposed to happen. Sheesh, that that just that just happened. It's like you bunked me so hard. It's like ah. Now why did you do that? All right, I'm gonna save it, and then I'm gonna play it. There we go. So there we go. And then I should go back to normal. There we go. For some reason, it didn't save me when I did it before, but now I should be good. Yeah, I should be good now. Just let me do a quick little fix right here and boo All right. All right, cool. Let's continue with the game. Uh, that's I, right. That was such a weird bonk, wasn't it? By the way, chat, just to make sure, do I look alright in this in this corner? Like, does everything look okay? I know everything's a mess because I, I just moved in Saturday, but I hope everything's okay. But right now, he for me is alive and everything is okay. At least I think so. Looks fine. Fine. I, I guess I'll just remove the shirt. Hey, Blazing Eyes, how you doing? The tale of a fox. Hey, Hifumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Me. Who I tried to me? I tried to kill him. It was fun. That's right. I remember. Their name 
Oh. Yasu. Yasu. Hero. Oh, I think he's actually dead dead this time. His eyes closed, but we heard the name Yasuhiro. And they never opened again. Death for the second time. Absolute undeniable death. No matter how many more penis tears splashed his face, there was no second miracle. Hey, Relic, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. But yeah, chat, if you're wondering what's going on, I'm in the new place right now. If you want to see my room up, here it is. Uh, have you met the sloth roll? Have you met the sloth? Have you met the sloth roll? Are you right? It's sloth roll. It's literally a sausage roll of a sloth. Have you seen this lad? But, you know, small room. If you want to see the full picture, it's on my Twitter. If you want to see it there. This isn't some stereotypical tip of that stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Honestly. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins, no calcium in your bones. At least you have your meat. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return just to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. He said Yasuhiro, right? Yasuhiro Hakagure. That is the only person he could have been referring to. And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and even killing Taka and Hifumi, and then going so far as to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what Hiro is? If it's true, I can't forgive him. No way can I ever forgive him. To kill two of our friends. Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Although this time is not all that life or death, the trial will conclude without much trouble. Yes, it does look that way. It's gonna begin again. We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. I have no choice but to go through with this to make sure everyone survives. I just have to do it even though most of my friends died. Uh, many times. Time to investigate. First, I better check the Monokuma file. The victims were Hifumi Yamada and Kiyotaka Ishimaru. The case, for, the case of death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it? Very yeah, it's pretty strange. We got way less info this time than before. That is no problem. After all, the events of this case unfolded before our own eyes. We should know more about what happened than the Monokuma file could anyway. Maybe. There's something else that's bothering me. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Are you talking about Kyoko? Without a doubt, she has an alibi for once the lust and he for me were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? An accomplice? Oh. An accomplice? What are you doing here? Don't be rude, I'm here to answer your question. What question? You're talking about accomplices, right? Kyoko just went to Subway. She went to get milk at Subway. Then you know Subway now sells milk. Five dollar foot milk. That's disgusting. I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, did he also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Milk at Subway, where they sell the cigarettes? We don't talk about cigarettes, okay? Why should we talk about the cigarettes? No, no cigarettes. Hmm. So basically, you can be you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So, so are you saying nobody worked together this time either? Hey, Sorry, I'm can't answer that. It would have shut the free exchange of info between you guys. I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might assist in a murder, only one black and can graduate, an accomplice gets nothing. So then we only need to figure out who that one black and is that the killing, right? Just like normal? Well. Okay, okay. Let me take this opportunity to clarify the whole shebang. In this class trial, what you need to determine is 
the one true blackened who devised a murder plot and put it into action. The true blackened. So just one person. Well, now. That's enough for explainifying. Now it's down to the final battle between all of you and the blackened. Good luck to all the contestants. So there can only be one, an accomplice wouldn't benefit. Then I can't see any way Kyoko will be connected to this case after all. You may be right. If that's true, then... Kyoko, where are you? As long as she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. She comes back with, like, milk and cigarettes, like... Guys, look what they had at the store. I have absolutely no doubt that Hiro is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to pursue further info. So, um, you know, don't you think we should consider a certain someone a sus, just in case? I'm talking about the murderous fiend, Genocide Jack. Cigarettes, milk, and a meatball marinade. Okay, you're trying to get me hungry, really. Stop. Stop. What? I'm offended. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, that, rem that sound reminds me of the fish from Wind Waker. You, when did you... I've been looking all over for you, Master. When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found. Anyway, you there, milk sack swimmer girl. Well, okay, so there's milk. Milk sack? Why do I gotta be a sauce? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. So what, I'm like a special guest sus every time? I have an alibi, you know. She's right about that. When we heard Hifumi scream, she was with me. And when the body disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Plus, Taka's body aside, I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move Hifumi's body. Besides, I calculate every move I make. I'm not gonna kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. They don't call me the murderous fiend for nothing. That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. On another topic, should we post a guard by the bodies like before? We can't have them disappearing again. And then third body dead, fourth body dead, fifth body dead. So then. Hina and I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Mm. I mean, if there wasn't a rule that the murder that the murderer can only kill two people at most, I'm pretty sure there'd be more dead bodies than usual. Sure. I'd be totally useless on the investigation anyway. It's all clear now. Then that's that. Let's begin. This whole thing is so strange. All but one of us has an alibi, so figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Nice. I got a file. Nice. Saka, he'll never move again. Also, what happened to him? They, they messed up his JPEG. Chat, what happened to his J Is this what happens when I... I don't want to go into the grave as a JPEG. Please, chat, if I ever do go, I do not want to be- I don't- I don't want to end up as a JPEG, okay? Anything but a JPEG. They cut- they caught up his toes! <laughs> According to the file, Taka died from a blow to the head. We found Justice Hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that what was used to kill him? And there's a tarp laid out under his body. Did the killer use this to move Taka's body? That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moved. Nice! I know, imagine that. So, if you somehow go, you get clipped into the void, you get your quality reduced into a lowly JPEG, then you die. They turn Taka into an NFT. <laughs> Alright, Chad, who wants his NFT? <laughs> imagine passing away only to become an NFT, am I right? Anybody want the Hifumi NFT? Non fungible Taka. Hifumi's big cold body is laying on the floor. His really big body? I mean, how on earth was the killer able to move someone so big? From the nurse's office, where he was discovered to hear the repository, all the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it. How the hell? It's no good, I just don't get it. Non functioning Taka, I love that. By the way, chat, if you want to know how the killer moved Hifumi's body, they used mouthful mode. So what they did was put their mouth all over Hifumi, transform into Hifumi, and go to the repository. And don't say that's weird because Kirby can do it. If Kirby can do it, anybody can do it. Mouthful mode. I can't wait for the next Kirby game, by the way. The next Kirby game is going to be amazing. I cannot wait. 
I can think about it later. For now, I have to finish investigating Hifumi himself. If I remember correctly, Hifumi's fatal injury was also a blow to the head. Probably from Justice Hammer 3, which was laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh? Wait, something's off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Hifumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. That's it, his glasses! When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But now they're completely clean. Ah, uh, does that mean someone wiped his glasses off? But who would do that and why? Huh. I did not notice that. I wasn't recognizing that he was an NFT this whole time. I'm just investigating NFTs, chat. Don't worry about it. It's all good. There were many aspects of the incident this time. Too many, to be honest. Considering that, it may be good to look back on everything that's happened. Would you like my help? Sure. Yeah, let's look back on things. This morning, only four of us met up at the dining hall. Hina, Kyoko, you, and myself. We waited for the others, but nobody showed up, so we decided to go look for them. It was around 8 o'clock when we began our search, and soon after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. After that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room, on the third floor, then quickly came and got you and me. According to Celeste, she was attacked by a sus individual, and lay unconscious for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her, meaning just after 7 o'clock. Based on the picture Celeste took, we discovered her attacker was dressed in a strange costume, a cosplayer. It was Robo Justice. It also became clear that this Robo Justice had dragged keeping me away. After meeting up with Toko and Byakuya, we began searching for the costumed assailant. We found an injured Hifumi on the library, in the library on the second floor. We took him down to the nurse's office on the first floor, then resumed our search. But not long after leaving the nurse's office, is there a rule that they can't commit murder then fake their own death to get away with it? Don't think that is a rule, but I'm pretty sure Monokuma would have been like, huh, that's a good idea. Also, hello, Von K. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. What's wrong? I saw a shadow, something moving around at the top of the stairs. Based on Celeste's claims, we went back up to the second floor where we split up and began searching. Then right after that, Celeste screamed. This time, she had apparently seen the suspect on the third floor. Hearing her screams, we quickly made our way to the third floor. Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. Oh, by the way, Chad, I got a funny question for you. Would anybody be up for a Monopoly stream one day? Like, I'm not joking. Would anybody be up for a Monopoly stream one day where we just play Monopoly? Where I play with Monop the Monopoly with some friends and we just bet on NFTs. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. You're just saying he can be faking his death to conveniently come alive and reveal the murderer's name, then die again could be a possibility. Ah, Blazing Ice, yes, Monopoly. The original Mario Party. Because the thing is, uh, some friends and I, like, we unironically bought Monopoly for the PlayStation 5 and we actually played it. We actually played through a whole game and I'm like, you know what, that'd be a good stream where we just bet on each other and bet on NFTs and buy NFTs and then die with NFTs and become bankrupt because of NFTs. So I feel like because now that I'm here in the new place chat, I'm sure there'll be a lot of opportunities. What I'm trying to say is that since my room is too small to do like group streams and whatnot, I'm trying to make the living room the group area, so if I ever have people over, then we do stuff like that. What is that new room background? It looks familiar. Gavin, Gavin, Gavin. It'd be more familiar if you were across the wall, but you're not. So how you doing, Gavin? What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been for me, he's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. I know you're working on it, Gavin. I gotcha, I gotcha. At that point, we decided to split up into two groups. Celeste, Tina, and I went back to the nurse's office. Meanwhile, you, Byakuya, and Toka pursued the sus on the third floor. And when we got back to the nurse's office... 
we found Hifumi's corpse, which is also when we heard the body discovery announcement play. Gato is coming again this weekend. Ah. By the way, chat, if you're not aware, Gato is Spanish for the Chato. I left Celeste and Hina alone and headed back to the third floor to tell the others what had happened. However. But at that same time, we had discovered Taka's body in the equipment room, which means Hifumi and Taka's bodies were discovered right around the same time. Because I remembered hearing the body discovery announcement play right after finding Taka. Nice little Spanish lesson. Of course, it's either that or the green owl who kills you. But I won't kill you, chat. I'll just break your kneecaps. And that's when I showed up and told you and Byakuya that Hifumi been killed, right? Then you, me, and Byakuya all headed back down to the nurse's office, leaving behind Toko, who had fainted. But as soon as we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who just arrived to tell us something very unusual. Hifumi's body has disappeared. We hurried back to the nurse's office to discover that his corpse was in fact gone. Then we remembered we had abandoned the unconscious Toko and rushed back to the equipment room. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all this or something? This time Taka's body had disappeared, so from there we began our search for both of the missing bodies. And after some time, Celeste told us she found the bodies and we all headed to the repository. By the way, chat, speaking of Celeste... There is a game that I should probably play called Celeste that is also on the list of games I have to play and the list is like this big and the list keeps on growing. Why is my list so huge, chat? My backlog is gigantic. And there we rediscovered the two bodies that had apparently vanished. There's so many games, chat, too many games. And I'm trying to stream four times a week again so we can get through these games. And that brings us up to now. However. Looking back, things have certainly been very active. If you want to look back at the case again, just let me know. I'm fine anytime. All right, so that was a good, like, revisit through the facts right there. Let's go check with Asahina. Oh, um... Hey, Makoto, I've been thinking about something. It's about the repository. What is it? Hmm. After he and me and Sakura bodies disappeared, we split up to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura stuck together. And we came right to the repository to, you know, look around. But when we got here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. It was locked? And we came here as soon as the search started, so there's no way someone could have beat us here. So if that's true, then who locked it? And why is it unlocked now? I wonder the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began, but now it's wide open. There might be some secret lurking in there. Ah, I'll have to leave this area to figure it out, which we will do now. Hmm, there was only one way to go in and out, through the door that Hina said was locked before. There's definitely a lock on the door, but it can only be locked from inside the repository. I don't see any way to lock it from the art room. Hmm. The door can only be locked from the inside, which makes me wonder... Hina and Sakura confirmed that the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. And the door is designed so it can only be locked from inside. In other words... When Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina says that there's no way someone could have beaten them to the repository. So that certain someone... That certain someone what? Certain someone what? Certain someone what? I need to know! Biaki, do you really think Hiro did it? I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the attacks and murders all and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing he from me said when he died... Yeah, he said Hero's name. So in other words, then there was no room to suss anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Maybe he thought that no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's the fool of the century, you see? I mean, he is kind of dumb. But you... Do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. And that's it? That's all that bothers you about the case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? They probably figured that if we couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? Again, if it comes back to the fact that the corporate was a moron, is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me is... Why did Bada kill in two people? What? What? 
Because all the rules say is if you can kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. So killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. Hold on, perhaps. I see, so that's what it means. Is everything okay? Don't talk to me as if we're friends, Baka. What, what's with the attitude? But you have my appreciation. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this after all. His mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked as if he figured something out. But if he did, what if it killed him to tell me what it was? I think it would actually kill him for sure. Ah, I should be looking around a bit more. Gotcha. But what should I be looking for? What else is weird about this place besides these hammers? There are hammers of all sizes hanging on the wall. Some are more like mallets. Mallets? Could the Justice hammers have been designed using these as a model? Either way, all the hammers here have obviously seen a lot of use. They're all covered in the breeze and chalky stone powder. Wait. For some reason, this hammer isn't dirty at all. And it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? Wash off the blood, perhaps? Dun, dun, dun. Ah, yes, bloody hammers. Oh, there's still more to check out, but like what? The tea. Oh, the cart. Le cart. The dolly. It doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess it's used to move statues around. It's kind of awkward, but if you, if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Oh, but wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? Y y you know, this, this awkward looking dolly? That is a very awkward looking dolly. And look at the wheel. There's a blood stain on it. So there's blood on the wheel of the dolly that was moved from the equipment room to the repository. What's the explanation for that? Nice. There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check somewhere else. There are some places I already know about. First, the nurse's office where Hifumi was found. In the equipment room where Taka was found. All right, let's go check those places out. Hey, Firebrand, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. But yeah, chat. So, CB, to go off what you said about, you know, the whole this, that, and everything else about, you know, Hifumi probably faking his own death. It's like... Then how do you explain he for me getting carried away by that robot though? Do you think he's using the AI to help out? Do you think he's using the AI to control the robot which grabs him and he say, say AI pretend you're killing me. AI kill me. AI you love me. You're enjoying your new PlayStation 5 lately? That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Look at the blood. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. Hey Alex Gamer, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. That reminds me, about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on its tire. Could that blood have come from... here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Who's this weird guy? Where's the sloth? But, uh, here? Uh, there? You want sloth roll? I got sloth roll. Anybody want sloth roll? Many sloth things, Rio. Many sloth things. And also, sloth head. So, I don't know what you mean. What sloth? There's a lot of sloths here. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that definitely have been possible. Alright, now we got bloodstained. But even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hifumi? Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with a dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. But yeah, to everybody who doesn't know, I recently moved a couple of days ago, so... Everything is mostly, like, unpacked and still needs to be set up still, so... It'll be a while till, you know, my room is looking more presentable. Ah, yes, more blood. I like looking at blood. Justice Hammer 3, the one that was used to kill Heath and me. Someone moved the body but left the weapon behind. Hey, Celeste, how you doing? What are you investigating, Celeste? I'm not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around, seeing if Hero might be hiding somewhere. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. How Hifumi was moved, eh? 
When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone? Mm. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then, the killer was able to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time? Indeed. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Hifumi in only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of it as anything less than impossible. Nice. I got her face. Oh, chat. So if the card was a bit bigger, it would have like perfectly fit over her face right there. It's like, yes, I got a picture of your face. Yoink. Chat, you know what these are? You know what these cards are? These are NFTs. I just got an NFT of her face. Yes. I feel like there's more. Okay. Oh, okay. I know there's more to look at. I'll look at more stuff. What else should I look at? Hmm. Not the speaker, but not the camera. But what about the garbage can? The trash. It's just a normal trash can. Wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth of the anime uh, big biggie 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 princess. And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Oh, but it's also covered in jam. Oh. Ah, did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Oh. It's he from his cleaning cloth to clean off those glasses because he's the one who got up and moved. And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used it to wipe up some blood. But yeah, Chad, are you fine with this outfit I got going on here, or do you miss the slop suit? Because it's like, I know, it's weird not seeing the slop suit, but it is slop attire, I guess. And also, if you didn't see, Chad, there is a new follower emote if you haven't checked it out. I think it's a follower emote. But there is a second pog emote if you haven't seen it yet. I think it's follower. Or is it sub? I have no idea. I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either, but I think it might be important. Ah, we got it. It's covered in blood. I'll put it in my pocket and it's all mine. A refrigerator. I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. Blood, 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 blood. After everything I've been through, I've been totally parched. Maybe just a quick peek. There's a bunch of blood packets. Oh, there are blood and there is blood in there. Down the hatch. Just drink the blood. Well, the Korok emote has always been there. The Pog 2 emote is new. So now you can Pog in two different ways. Sloth form or Sloth hybrid. It doesn't help me though. I'm not a vampire. Also, no more bit emotes. I'm trying to fix that, TV. I'm trying to fix that. I'm trying to fix that. I'm trying to fix that. I'm trying to fix things up. I'm trying to make everything work. It's... I'm trying to make everything work. Let's see. I did the nurse's office already. What else is to check out? Oh, wait. I should talk to Toko. I mean, Genocide Jack. I was sleeping right here when the, when the killer carried the body away. I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event. Wow, that was very helpful. Thank you very much, Genocide Jack. I really appreciate it. Oh, this tarp. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before and just recently too. <gasps> and there was a coin in there. All right, let's get that out the way. I think I'm pretty much good with that. I guess I can go back to the repository, but is there anything else I need to check? Oh, I need to find, I need to find. I need to find the one we're sussing right now. That's what I need to do, right? Hold on, where could he be though? Cause I'm pretty sure I gotta find him wherever he is, but I don't know if the game will tell me where he is. Or maybe do I have to go somewhere else? Yeah, because it's not telling me where he is. Unless I have to go in his room. I'm trying to, like, go to where the rooms are, but the game is not telling me. It, the game is not leading me there. So I guess I'll get there my own way. 
So I guess I'll check back where the rooms are and see if he's... Oh, there we go. I just had to leave. So this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um, you should go to Hero's room. Oh, let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall. This is the note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? You remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? Things grow ever more exciting. What are you talking about? I've already repeated my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, why doesn't he help with that? Wow, he said to go to Hero's room, but what's waiting for me there? We go there and Hero's dead. Like, oh no, he's dead too? Who would have thought that he also be dead? Oh no, who could be the killer? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh yeah, we're here. I don't like being here. That thing is going to explode in my face. Okay, I think I'm getting, I think I got lost. I think I really got lost though. Let me go, let me, where the, where the rooms? I wanna go to the rooms already, there we, okay, the, 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 the dormitory didn't show up. The dorms did not show up at all, Chad. It did not show up at all. So now it shows up. So now we just gotta find this room. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, boom, 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 boom. Look at rooms. Rooms, rooms, rooms. Yasuhiro's room. The door's unlocked. I guess I can go inside. Yaki did say to go look, but it might not be a great idea. I'm gonna take the plunge. I slowly open the door. Wow. This is Hero's room. There are all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where'd he even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he really can't complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? Well, time to go snooping in the bathroom. I checked the bathroom. There's nothing in here. It's pretty grungy, though. Wait, hold on, chat. I'm gonna find out what grungy means. What does grungy mean? Dirty. It means very dirty. He has a very dirty room. How does a bathroom even get this dirty? Now I know what grungy means. That's new word of the day with Pixel. I didn't want to check that again. I wanted to see what I can check around like his grungy bed. It's a normal bed, pretty much like the one in my room. The boxes. I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints for something. Oh. You see this shit? You see that robot? Transformers, robots in disguise. And something's made out of, it looks like cardboard, plastic, and plaster. Is this Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's room. Oh wait, these blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Hmm. Could it be the handwriting? Because the handwriting is not the same? Huh, that could be it. Maybe Hero's getting framed. That could be it right there. He could be getting framed. All right, it seems too obvious. Makoto, big news, big news. What's wrong? We found Kyoko. What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Robo Justice showed up too. Robo Justice? It's Hero wearing the costume. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. I think Hiro and Kyoko would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. It took me 30 minutes to get here. I was out of breath and out of shape. They're, they're all just standing there. Cool. Kyoko and... I mean... You, man, I've had the worst day. Well, chat, meet your new favorite character, Robo Justice. Hero? That uh, dude? Um, Hero? Uh, yeah, duh, who else would it be? That's a good question. 
Oh, wh what? Wait, why do I look like this? Did someone come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was the Illuminati? The what is going on here? Oh, I didn't mean to check the locker. I'm about to talk to Kyoko. Right. I found Hiro. He was jammed into the pool room locker. He looked like he wasn't fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. I still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a bit more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something. That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden without a trace. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. Never mind. More importantly, she says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people think she might be spying for the mastermind? First of all, Hiro, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, uh, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened, then I woke up and then I was here. I don't care, do something about that costume, it pains me just to look at you. Um, well... I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't get it off. A little help? Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make the stupid freaking thing. There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hero out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. A bit of broken bones, but he's fine. Free at last. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? More to the point, nobody but Hero will be able to wear that costume. What if Hero was attacking Hifumi because Hifumi was trying to attack someone else? We're attacking Hero and Hifumi painted it, so Hero was the bad guy. I don't know, but the way things are going, either Hero's playing stupid or he's getting framed. Wait, what? Hold on a second. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you've made this costume. That's true, I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Then it's obvious, the one who put on this costume and went around attacking everyone was Hero. Shall we tie him up and gag him? Oh. Good idea, we wouldn't want him killing anyone else. Tie me up. Hold on, guys. I think that's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... Uh, um... Attacking blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What the heck? You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. Please. What? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. You you're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly be the costume attacker? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine, if you're going to be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a bit, Hina started putting on the Robo Justice costume. Huh. See, See, look. look. See how it is. Chad, for a second there, I thought her hair... Well, I thought that logo in the background was part of her hair. I thought like she was transforming into some like angel or something. You know, like those freaking like accurate angels. I thought that was our hair for a second. I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Why is her hair so blue, though? I'm um, anywhere in this thing. she went into the pool and her hair absorbed the pool water, so it turned blue from pool water. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, Transformers robots in disguise. You totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. The costume's not dumb. In a huff, Tina took the suit bag off again. Oh. Well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh, um. You're out of touch. You're out of touch. No, see, it's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then... Makoto, go ahead. Uh, okay. Against my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. See, I told you it was impossible. 
You are right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. But it, 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 there's another costume. They must have one that looks the same, but but fits dumb. Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> you claim there is another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. Dude, what the heck? Who cares? Hero's the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. Which is how we know it was him. I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Can someone, like, tell me? Nice. I got a costume. They use two subjects and don't test everyone else. I know, right? It's like they choose the shortest person and one person who's not meant to fit the torso of the thing for obvious reasons it's really ridiculous what the heck? um if you don't tell me what's going on how am i supposed to understand i think i figured out that someone's been killed right hey makoto who was it well two people were killed Taka and he for me two people why are you freaking out you did it Please. i did not Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... That? That's it. I know who did it. So then. You may as well tell us then. Hmm. Saka and Hifumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? Which means Alter Ego and or Chihiro must have done it. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Please. Huh? Unfortunate? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? Uh, um, I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, so I know bad. that. No. No. Uh, Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door, and here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. But the last thing I remember is going to the rec room, then for some reason I fell asleep. The real, the real killer probably drugged me or something. Not a chance. No, hold on, he could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. What, really? I told you, someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote all of that to trick me. Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Well, after being trapped here so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? <sighs> they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. I still don't buy it. Well, you should buy it. Okay, then show us that note. With pleasure, I have it right here in my, um, pocket. Uh, no way. Looks like I lost it. Uh, yeah, sure. Please. please, you gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us reason. Uh, what the heck? For serious? Cool, I got his face. Now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. What the heck? Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, hero. Uh, no, it's like I said. Was it really to get the money Monokufa offered us? Monokufa. Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broken, that's why. Please. Wait, that's a false accusation. Someone help me. Just be thankful we haven't bound and gagged you. If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? You're right. I need to look for the second suit in that note. Beat don't feel me now. I guess I better get back to guard duty. I was going to ask Toko uh, Genocide Jack to switch with me. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye. One by one, everyone peeled away. Dakota, do you have a second? Hmm? I want you to help me with, with the investigation. It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we when we have time, will you tell me why he disappeared? Why no. Alright, I guess we're not playing anymore. She won't tell me. I give up. To reject me so simply. Anyway, anyway I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Uh, okay. Shall we go? Thanks, now shall we? Oh boy, I love helping out, girl. Especially Kyoko Kirigiri. So Makoto, first I like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. 
Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway, anyway we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then. Show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository. Then I guess we should head that way for now. Oh, boy. I love the repository. The repository is awesome. Here we are, the repository. Hifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid. But for only a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. She crushed down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and prodding the bodies. I knew it. The Monokuma was right, the fire was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth, she was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. Imagine feeling comfy over dead bodies, right chat? Taka was killed by a blow to the head. He must have been struck with Justice Hammer 4, which was laying on the floor in the equipment room. And there's a tarp laid out under his body. The killer must have used it to move Taka's body. That way it wouldn't leave any blood stains as it was moved. Makoto, I found something. You do? You remember the wristwatch Taka always wore on his left hand? He did? Are you so oblivious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? Yes. No, that's not it. Anyway, so you said he had a watch. Take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? It's most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen just past 6 o'clock. So, so that would mean... The watch was broken sometime just after 6? That's right. But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Hey, you! How long are we going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. All the little boys and girls should be sleeping. So if it worked at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 p.m. Meaning it must have happened at 6 this morning. Nice. However, and that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. He appears to be gripping something. Are we just bad at investigating bodies? I feel like we're just bad at investigating him, period. Like, how does nobody know that he's holding something with his dead hand? You're right, there's something white in there. Makoto. Can you try and pry it out? Me? Because... Rigor, rigor mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? Okay. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold hand. The ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. A piece of paper? Was that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. It doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? By the way, chat, before we continue on, anyone gonna try out the, uh... The new Nintendo Switch Sports demo, well, you know, testing that they're doing this weekend, though? I wonder about that. Yoko then turned to Hifumi's body. So Let's check Hifumi's body now. Perhaps he's left us a few clothes of his own. Ah, paper. Wait, why nose? Why the why their nose chat? Why nose? It's, it's Wii Sports, but on Switch! Why doesn't anybody want to play it? Come on! On. The biggest problem I have right now is how the killer was able to move Hifumi's massive body from the nurse's office up. Oh wait, we already did that. I guess we're just gonna talk to Kyoko again. Cool. So, did you find anything? I did more than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A wad of paper? Hifumi had it hidden on him. Hidden? Indeed. He stuffed it in his pants. So I looked in there, so I can only assume he hid it on purpose, you see? In his pants? Wait, so you- Why is that? It was just his pants, not like his socks or something. I don't know what that means. Hey. Anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto, open it up. I'm not doing anything. You do all the work, okay? Do it, do it, open, open it. I bet you won't open it. When I think of how it was stuffed on his pants, it's like- it better be important to you for me or I'll never forgive you for this. A note? I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet the let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. 
so we already read that that sounds very familiar that's it it's the same thing hero said and he was telling us the truth However, although it's not exactly the same is it uh, um, last night someone slipped a weird note under my door and here's what it said i found a hole maybe we can use to escape Hanukuma can't find out so don't tell anyone else for now let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m oh the time is different hero told us that his note said to meet at 1 a.m all right chat but here's a quote cool, here's an, here's the next question who here is getting kirby because of mouthful mode who wants to play as kirby car carby who wants to be carby but the note they wrote to Hifumi asked him to meet at 6 a.m right? hold on just because Hifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him huh so... part of it has been torn off right i think there's likely some meaning there there's some meaning to part of it being ripped um could you maybe explain it a little more think carefully okay. why would he been clutching that scrap of paper so tightly i have no idea so then. what if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it what if it was something more important and how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper that's what you need to answer not me nice hey and while we're at it i should tell you one other thing the two victims this time definitely had their evil handbooks on them so the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there was any reason to think they were connected to the killings in the first place. So you're saying I don't even have to think about the handbooks this time, right? Is that right? If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone on my way to mention it. All I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. It will just come alive and kill everybody, I guess. A handbook may play a role. I don't think I understand. But if Kyoko thinks it's important, I better keep it in mind. Nice! Oh. Is it time? Are you excited? Are you pumped? It's time for the class trial to begin! It's happening! It's the of fireworks. Who's like ready to see some murders? And so, with no further ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot. Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> see you soon. Bye, Monokumo. It would seem... It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. You have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? Well, we better get going. Okay. This is it, Luigi. Mario, I'm scared. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation and they were gathered by the red door. And as soon as we were all there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, why are there two of them? He's multiplied? Wrong. Nope, not multiplication. It looks that way because of an illusion. I'm moving so fast it only looks like I multiplied. <laughs> Can you guys tell which one is the real Monokuma? Can we just get on the elevator already? Boy. You're not playing along. 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 We're not here to play with you. Okay, okay, fine. Then if everyone's here and ready to go, please board the pain train elevator. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. Okay then, shall we? <laughs> Hold on, I'm not mentally prepared yet. You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. I told you already, I didn't do it for real. Hmm. That reminds me, did you ever find the other costume or the note? <sighs> well, no, but how unfortunate. Then it would seem we have our culprit. Hey. This isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when we get to the courtroom. That's right. She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Yeah, good idea. That's right. I have to. I have to do it. I can't let whoever killed Hifu me and Taka get away with it. For everyone who's still alive, and for the two that lost their lives.
The one who killed Hifumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. The killer is... Not me. Someone right here. I don't like Monokuma's carefree attitude. But I love his carefree... Let's hurry up and go so we can make Hero pay for his crimes. Hmm. Where are you listening? Wait till we get to the courtroom to begin your arguing. 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 Oh, I didn't mean to go to the elevator already. I want to see what everybody has to say, but we'll move up. I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. I began to walk toward the elevator once everyone was aboard. It's time to begin. The doors closed on their own and the steel box began to move. And then it broke, and then we were stuck there. The clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. It's getting a little lonely now because there's less people here. Until we settled all this, we couldn't go anywhere. There's less and less people in here. Ah, oh, I got bonked. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator door slid open. Opening up onto a cruel fate. Oh, what? Why is everything different looking? When I see all of you gathered together like this, I realize just how few of you there are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Only because of you. Why? Why are you making us do such cruel things to each other? What? Do you really hate me so much? But I'm so cute. Come on. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Don't rush me, but of course I'm gonna start it. I would never be like, stay tuned for the action-packed last try after this commercial break, and then I run an ad. I never hold on on you like that. Okay, let's begin. Get to your assigned seats. And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly flash trial. Is anybody ready for drama? Drama? Let's do it! Ah, yes, the laggy menu. I love the laggy menu. Who's ready for laggy menus, chat? Oh, that beautiful... Mm, ah, beautiful laggy menu. I don't know why it's lagging here, but it's lagging. All right, let's go equip some skills. I got robot jock on, melodious voice, handiwork, and that's pretty much it. That's all I got. All right. Who's ready for some room spinning? Flash trial, start! Let's, Let's go! With a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. I just can't wait for the room to be spinning and be like, -na 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 -na. If you can figure Cannot out wait. who done it, then only they will receive punishment. Punishment? But if you pick the wrong one. And I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Everybody put in your caps and gowns because you are graduating, but only one of you will, so prepare yourselves. Now then, to begin with, we already know who did it. Oh, was that his like, wait, 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 I was ready for a class trial, wait, what? It was Hero. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place. Imagine, in that suit. imagine this is the end of the game. It's like, oh yeah, you all thought it was hero. Uh, you guys are wrong. Uh, everybody else dies. Good night. Don't try and deny it. You killed them. Shaking faces. I didn't. Someone knocked me out. I, I was asleep the whole time. I don't know anything about it. Shut your murdering mouth, murderer. Says the murderer. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry to say, Shiro, but we do have evidence. Oh my goodness! Okay, I, I'm glad. I'm glad those were said. But it's too obvious, though. It's way too obvious. Is Hero really the killer, or before anything else, we have to make that clear? Let's do it! Spin! I love the spinning. Yasa Hero's message. Hmm. 
in Hero's room. Oh, they meant to shoot it. <laughs> so we have Yasuhiro's message. I'm gonna get my time though. Hmm. I'm trying to remember the controls though. Sorry about that. So just let me make sure I got what that means. It says meet in the dining hall to get everybody to meet. Hmm. I mean, looking at the blueprints, that handwriting is awfully messy. If I remember right, Hero's handwriting is... It's completely different, completely different. Oh. Did I really just miss it because of the freaking thing right there? I'm sorry, Chad. Just hold on a second. I got blocked off by text. Here we go. No, it's true. False. Break reality for it. <laughs> Are we sure Hero really made those blueprints? What do you mean? Well, take a look at this. I got blocked off by text. It's the note that Hero wrote. <laughs> Asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. Yeah, the, the, the writing is completely different. Wouldn't you say? When you compare it to the blueprints, there's no way you could think the same person made both of them. Thank you, Kyoko. Even though you could have said that at any time, but mostly I have to I have to be the one that brings it up. Unless that person made it a point to disguise their handwriting. No, the differences are bigger than that, I think. Come on! I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. He said it, not us. Makoto, are you saying you don't think Hiro's the culprit? And he's not the only one. I think Hiro's innocent as well. Oh! The sudden surprise! Now that I finally figured out that he could be innocent, everybody's like, You know what? I think he's innocent too. <laughs> Justice suit. Is it like Hero said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? Is that what we gotta this find out next? Individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. Why does it gotta be me? And of course he passes it off to me. Who was in the Robo Justice suit? The sus individual in question, the one that must have been in the suit. The Illuminati. Tina? Why does it have to be the Illuminati? Who could have been in the suit? That's a hero. Tina? The one that must have been in the suit. It, it, ha it has to be him because he was stuck in there. Because remember, we found him in the locker and it only fits him. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. That doesn't make any sense. You yeah. Said Hero didn't do it. He just said that a second ago. Perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual. Ah, uh, okay. So we're sussing him for the soup, but not for the murder. So what you're saying is, I love that one of the options is the Illuminati. <laughs> culprit in this case the Illuminati did it. Being in the Robo Justice suit. What? Now that's a bold assumption. And what reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Of course. But before we get to that, Makoto handle everything. Something else we need to clarify first. So let's get that out of the way. All right. Trying to boss us around. All things have a proper order. So what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation. Wasn't it the dolly and the tarp? I'm pretty sure it was the, the dolly and tarp, though. There's a triangle in Robo Justice, so it's Illuminati. It's always the Illuminati. Can you tell us what they were? Why me? The things that were used to move Taka's body, they must have been the tarpy and the dolly, but... Is there one together, or should I just use either one of them? Just want to make sure I get the right thing, so it has to be the dolly. I got it! I got it. There's still one more thing. Oh, okay, there we go. It's asking for a second thing now. Tarpy. I got it. Tarpy and dolly. They were a dolly and a tarp, right? <laughs> Idiot. What's with the attitude? So, let's see if I can explain 
Bell's body disappeared from the equipment room. And then we rediscovered it in the repository. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? It was the same tarp that up until then was stored in the equipment room. So the killer must have seen it there and mm. decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. That way, they wouldn't leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. Okay, that explains the tarp. And the dolly? Same thing. It was moved. I'm sure the dolly I love that. I love this, like this janky JPEG of a dolly. This janky JPEG. <laughs> it's so janky. But when the body disappeared, so did the dolly. That dolly Later, looks broken. Taka's body reappeared in the repository. So did the dolly. In other words, you think they use the dolly to move the body. Am I right? Chad, there's one thing I'm going to be sad about is that when I get to like the final chapter of this and like the final class trial, it's going to be sad seeing there's only going to be a few people left, like a handful of people, I think. I feel like it's going to be so empty that we're going to be like, all right, who did it? Can someone just confess already? I'm done. But are you sure you are not mistaken? Huh? What do you mean, Celeste? You versus two others. It's going to be me, Kyoko, and Byakuya. What do you mean, CV? It's going to be us three. It's just going to be like, who did it? Wait, why bring that up? It moved. Oh my goodness, Celeste. Excuse me? Wow, I've never had anyone sound so nice while being so mean. But maybe I can change your mind. If I could just explain to them why the dolly must have been moved from the equipment room to the repository. A new element has been another element? Let's talk about reloading. Starting with this next bullet time battle, we're gonna add one more ingredient to the recipe. On the bottom of the screen, underneath the tempo marker, I'll see my ammo count. Up until now, there hasn't really been a limit on how you destroy your opponent's statement. But from now on, just locking on and pressing the X button won't be enough to handle them. Now it will cost you one bullet to destroy a single remark. Once you run out of bullets, you can't destroy any more statements no matter how locked on you are. However, you can reload by pressing the Y button. Just like locking on, you have to press the Y button in time with the temple marker. Basically, just know that the Y button now has a function along with the A button, X button, the A button, X button buttons. I will automatically reload at the start of fever time and my ammo will not decrease. But if your action difficulty is such a gentle, you won't have to reload at all. In which case, you can ignore everything I just said. The so I... I guess I just gotta play this thing now. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, is this now? Flip. Oh. Oh. I see now. Oh. The game lagged a bit. The game. The oh, I just gotta keep going. Final strike. There we go. I I I, I, I won. <laughs> if you're asking for proof that the dolly moved, I have it right here. Holy flips! So, the, I, so basically, it's the same thing, but now I just have to reload. When I found the dolly in the repository, one of the wheels had a blood stain on it. So it rolled over the blood. In the equipment room with a tire marker that matched the dolly wheel's tread. The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident as they wheeled the body out of the room. And as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. 
So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. Ooh, you just got told. Geez, does us really hate me that much? Well, anyway, that was just something. Wow, what 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 caused her to dislike me? What did I do? Subject. What did I even yeah, do to her? The subject of how Robo Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then what kind of robot is it? Uh, cosplay. I'm not sure that really matters. I'd be happy to explain why the occupant of the suit couldn't possibly be the killer. If Please explain, Biakio. The body was transported. It will become immediately obvious. If I look at the body was moved, it will be clear why the person in the suit couldn't have done it. What does he mean by that? It's time for the next circle. Robo Justice costume. Let's go. That is true. Mm hmm. That sounds okay. Oh. You would have to bend down to use it. That's why. You can't, because remember, you can't bend. You can't bend your legs. We found out during the pull segment. Legs don't work in that thing. Right, that you could push a dolly without a handle. I remember, Chad. I remember. I remember. If you were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position? I remember. What do you mean? Think back to what you said when we were all checking out the suit together. Remember? I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. And there we have it. When you're in that suit, not only can you not see your feet, but you can't even bend at the waist. Am I right about that? How did you mention it? Yeah. Oh, snap. It seems like it'd be awfully hard to push that dolly if you could. Sure it's from memory much? I mean, when you think about nothing but donuts, I pretty, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I thought I felt something on my neck. That was nothing. Pretty much. Even when you're wearing big cosplay like that, moving around and doing stuff is not so easy. There's absolutely no chance that the costume was taken off just to move the body because... There we go. You can't take it off by yourself. Because of the freaking latch on the back. Hey, Neo Ball. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? <laughs> just enjoy Danganronpa not spoiling anything. I got gotcha. you. I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make the stupid friggin' thing. There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. Hey, Tram boy. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? You were there. She was really there helping us all with the freaking clasp on the back. She really has short term memory. You mean he was actually telling the truth and uh, at the time I wore the suit? Oh. He could have gotten it off by himself. I don't think he would have let us see him wearing it. Oh, yeah, the Mario Kart 8 DLC. I'm looking forward. That's the that's one big surprise, though. I thought I was not expecting more courses for Mario Kart 8 DLC years after it came out, though. I was really hoping for 9 to come out, but I'll take more courses. So I will be streaming that if anybody's getting the DLC as well, so. I'm planning to stream that when it comes out. Because I really want to see what the new courses are. I really want to play the new courses. I just want to play more Mario Kart. I'm doing all right, Tram Boy. I recently moved and everything, so that explains the no green screen because I really can't do a green screen. Uh, I can't do a green screen anymore, so. I'm still trying to figure out the whole setup. And yet they avoid Mario Kart 9. 
I mean, it seems like we're not going to get Mario Kart 9 for the Switch, though. We're not going to get Mario Kart 9 this gen, so... It's going to be... A, it's going to be... Because remember, they were making new courses up until 2023, so... Yeah... Just a second, if you please. Well, I am happy for I'm happy for more courses. I love Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. They, it, like if they if they can't find a way to improve it, might as well just add more stuff because that's what I've been waiting for. I was like, if we if they're not going to announce Mario Kart 9, at least give us more courses. I just want to play more Mario Kart. That's you all. all got a good look at it, did you not? The image of Hifumi being dragged away by Robo Justice? No, it's just Hifumi saying, "Oh, Robo Justice Senpai, may our love never be taken away by unwavering strangers." If whoever was in that suit is not the culprit, how do you explain that? It's just a cosplay picture. It's just a picture you see at a convention. This is a convention photo. This is what happens. People will look like that when I take pictures with them with the blue shell outfit, so nothing weird. How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice. That, that's what I decided to call him just now. But yeah, $25 for 48 more courses? I'm fine with that. That just means a lot more courses. Oh my goodness, course selection in... Course selection in Mar in this game is going to be insane. Imagine choosing from like over 90 courses. I it's 48 and 48, right? Or is it like I don't know what the total number is, but either way, there's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot of courses. Is that the anniversary edition of Danganronpa? Hold on, let me go check by closing the game first. <laughs> Imagine I accidentally pressed A, but yes, it is. Be right. I feel like if I keep doing this one of these days, I'm accidentally going to close it and then I have to restart this whole class trial. So far too early to reach that conclusion. Besides, there's no hurry to decide who did it. Before we Is there any missing road, Rainbow Roads in Mario Kart 8? Every uh, Double Dash, 3DS, DS, Game Boy Advance, Wii. Because remember, remember, we only have th 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 three Rainbow Roads. We got N64, we got Super Nintendo, and Mario Kart 8's Rainbow Road. So, I would love to see... By the way, chat, Coconut Mall is coming back. We are going to get Coconut Mall live and in action, chat. We are going to get Coconut Mall. What would I do if the final the DLC cup was all Rainbow Roads? I hope we get 3DS's Rainbow Road. I love 3DS's Rainbow Road. I love that one. But if I have to choose between N64, Super Nintendo's, and Mario Kart 8's Deluxe's Rainbow Road, I have to choose Super Nintendo's because it's so simple and to the point. It's great. But yeah, I cannot wait for the new courses. I really hope we get like the best of best courses. We gotta get those, chat. Yeah. We gotta get the best of. Waluigi's Pinball. We need to get Waluigi's Pinball. I don't disagree. That needs to be a course. On the line. If this is what it takes, we have to do it. Plus, maybe we'll get to find out where the heck Kyoko was. When Rainbow we Cup. Down. Every Rainbow Road. That will be insane. Right, then. Let's take another look back at what happened. Time to roll it. We can start with this morning. Four of us oh, I thought we were spinning here. We're just recapping. Like, we're just recapping again. Hina, Kyoko, and myself. We waited there for quite a while, but nobody else showed up. So we went to look for everyone. That was around 8 a.m. And as soon as we split up... Hey, Chad, how funny would it be that if there was a mod in this game, but the only mod is just that one of the faces will be... That one of the students will, will be replaced by my face. So every time it spins around and you see one of those pictures, it's just my face with an X over it. Soon after Pixels that, by night, found dead in Twitch. And quickly came to get Makoto and me. Oh, Rainbow Cup, Game Boy Advance, GameCube, Wii and 3DS. For you, 3DS is the best. There's a there's a lot of courses they can add though because remember we're also getting Mario Kart Tour courses. I only played Mario Kart Tour for a bit, like a bit, and I stopped because it wasn't my kind of game. Gotcha, Mario Kart ain't isn't what I like, but I wonder what kind of courses we'll get though. 
but yeah the nintendo direct was great though i really loved the nintendo direct it was great i loved it can't wait for kirby next month as soon as i get it chat i am going to record the heck out of that game so prepare for many many videos on that on my youtube channel pixels by now go watch it right now with this many videos on my channel right now go watch them right now all right we were soon joined in our search by the Akuya and Toko, and then went on to find Hifumi but the thing is chat i wish they can add more characters too how come we don't get more characters we get more courses but no new characters because mario kart tour has so many characters but not long after leaving the nurse's office What's wrong? I saw a shadow, something moving around at the top of the stairs. When Celeste told us that, we decided to split up and search the second floor. And soon after that, I saw someone moving around on the third floor. And I yelled out to everyone as soon as I did. Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. And then... Ah! Huh? What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... He for me. He's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. At that point, we decided to divide up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office. While Sakura, Yakuya, and Toko chased after the suspect. When we got back to the nurse's Aww, office, it's okay. He was playing Splatoon in person. Dead. And that's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Oh yeah, speaking of Splatoon, anybody looking forward to the new uh, Salmon Run? My favorite boss enemy from from the new Salmon Run has to be Fish Stick. I want to see Fish Stick in action. I want to fight Fish Stick. Fish Stick looks amazing. <laughs> I want to fight Fish Stick. Oh goodness, Platoon 3 looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, that's for sure. Me and, me and the bestie Fish Stick. When I told you guys about the food. Oh yeah, and also God Salmon, like Godzilla Salmon. That's gonna be amazing. For the nurse's office. But right after oh, wait, in the story mode, isn't the little buddy a uh, Salmonid? So aren't we just killing little buddies? We ran into buddies. Who arrived after us, and she told us something very surprising. Oh man, I'm glad there's been a little coke outside again. Vanilla Coke is amazing. He from his body has disappeared. By the way, chat, uh, speaking about Xenoblade Chronicles, I met, I made a bet before the whole thing that if Xenoblade Chronicles 3 was announced for the Direct, and I thought it wouldn't be, for some reason, I just thought it wouldn't be, and since it was, I will now get back to Xen to, Zen to to the first Xenoblade Chronicles in due time. I'm trying to find out when because there's a lot of games I gotta play, but I will stream Xenoblade Chronicles again. I will try to get back to it quicker than when I planned it to be because I gotta get through that, two, then three. I don't know about X because that's on Wii U and that takes up a lot of space. Are we hallucinating all this or something? So gone missing. Next thing we knew, we were searching the school for two missing dead bodies. And after some time, Celeste informed us that she'd found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository, mm. which is where we rediscovered the corpses. If the killer turns out to be someone else, then that's gonna be crazy. Thing sounds exceptionally complicated. Of course, Kyoko, thank you for pointing that out. It certainly seems to me that these are not a simple series of connected events. Okay, well, if that's true, then what? 
rather than a single series of events, I think we have to consider each murder a separate situation. And from there, we can uncover the contradictions surrounding all of them. Oh yeah, Chad, did you see that so that they already announced Sonic Movie 3? Then, that there's going to be a third one now, and also Knuckles is going to have his own spin-off story? Well, his, his side series, basically. We're getting a Sonic verse. Alright, in order to uncover the truth of this case, I have to find him no matter what. Spin it! They were filled with a similar weapon, gotcha. I wonder if he died before he finished. Or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. The order. What makes you say that? Hold on, Chad, I'm just vibing here. They gotcha. Hmm, I'm using Monochroma File 3 though. They were numbered, but were they really using that order? Let me go read that again. Ah, but yeah, the thing is, we did find different hammers though. Before he for me, or was it after? The order. No, it was Takadini for me. So which part do I use the file in? The numbering. It was he for me and Taka, cause Taka was first, and then he for me got hit with the got hit in the head. It was true that there was a numbering, but was it was it the number that was the, like it was one, two, three, then four? Like the the further the number, the bigger it is. Was it that way? Because of the numbering. Oh, it was an ah four then three. She's looking at the other way. It's supposed to be in reverse. Three is bigger than four. Gotcha. The numbering. Ah. Oh, stimuli. Ah, flip was the other one. Ah, flip. Is the order? Wait, what? Wait, am I? Is something going on? Wait, well, there was only two things, right? It was the order, then the numbering. So where am I supposed to use it at? Am I supposed to change the... Wait, what's... Wait, hold on. What is going on? Select the bullet. Okay, I... T hold on. What? There's only two things to choose, and I've chosen. The mechanic that happens rarely? Wait, wait, I'm confused. Wait, what's going on? There's only two things to choose from yet. Is there something I'm missing? Hold on, chat. I'm confused right now. I'm really confused. I didn't mean to do that. What am I supposed to do? Concentrate bullet. 
They can't choose anything else. Yes, what? I'm con Wait, what do you mean, yes? I don't know what to do. I'm pressing literally every single thing. I see that it's. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to do. The numbered. Brain machine broke. I'm confused right now. There's only two things to choose. What? Am I supposed to do something different? What am I supposed to choose? I'm confused now. Is this a help moment? I. Pretty much. It, it, my, am I supposed to use a different mechanism? Because I don't know how to do the other mechanism. Die! <laughs> yeah, I'm confused right now. Was I supposed to do something differently? Because I don't know how to start it. More like it's just a rare mechanic and the game doesn't notify when needed. You know, that doesn't help. That really does not help at all. Oh, I'm just losing time if I do that. The numbering, yes, but can you not shoot? Can you shoot not yellow sentences? Wait, am I supposed to shoot the the white text instead? Am I not supposed to just shoot the yellow one? I'm supposed to shoot the white one too? Hey, what? What makes you say that? Taka came last. It's true that Hifumi was killed, but just while Taka's death came from a so it's obvious. So do I do it here? Nope. Yeah, I'm pretty much stuck. I really don't know what to do now, Jack. Can anyone please help me? I have no idea. He focuses on Taka came last for quite a bit. Oh, wow, it disappeared. Oh. I just found out. I just found out. I just found out. I just found out. Oh my goodness. Are you joking me? I'm a freaking idiot. Well, that didn't help. Oh, wait a second. Okay, it's the order. It's the, it's the way I got to use it in. Okay. It's the order. I got to get the... It's what order. There we go. I'm an idiot. Oh, my goodness. I forgot about the flashback feature. I freaking forgot about the flashback feature. If anything... Oh my goodness! I know the I know the help section said flashback, but I didn't know I had to hold X. I forgot about that. So you're saying the culprit wanted us to an idiot. In order, but in reality, Taka was killed before. Oh killed my goodness! Okay then, let's see the proof. Evidence that proves Taka was killed before he for me. There's something that relates to what time he must have died. Oh no, not Hangman's Gambit. Oh no, not Hangman's Gambit. Oh wait, this is easy. I just gotta spell out How do you spell this word, chat? It's it's like playing uh, Wheel of Fortune. How do you play Wheel of Fortune? 
You see, this was easier than the last one. The last one was so impossible to figure out. It, it was schizo. How was I supposed to know the word schizo from the last one? But literally in this one, it's like, <gasps> wristwatch. Hey, you, how long are we going to keep us waiting? Tarkus' irritated voice pierced the ear as he stared pointedly as Rizwish Watch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know, that bedtime for all the little boys and girls. So Betty by time. His official time of death, Broken Watch. By the way, how's everybody in chat doing so far? Everybody holding up all right? Everybody enjoyed that little breakdown I just had? Thanks, chat. Thank you, chat. Hold on, Chad. That's hold on. What is this voicemail? Congressman. What do you mean, Congressman? Whatever. Don't talk about politics here. Ah, huh? What was that? That came from downstairs. That must have been Hifumi. He's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. When we heard Hifumi screaming, we were all together. Except for Hiro and Kyoko. And Kyoko is still a very big mystery. Hifumi ate it. Mmm, delicious tape for dinner. I love it. All of us were there together. Clearly, none of us could have killed him. And it does not stop there. There was also the moment when we discovered his body had disappeared. When his body vanished from the nurse's office, Hina and I were in the bathroom together while everyone else was in the equipment room, correct? And then there's the disappearance of Kaka's body from the equipment room. At that time, we were all gathered together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi going missing. Yeah. Hey, way to brag about it. I was knocked out. Wait, then what if Genocide Jill did it? She could have dragged Taka's body out of there right then. Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Kifumi's body. Because, as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. But, but they split into two when she's knocked out. Genocide Jack and her. Now, Kyoko. For now, we can't get fixated on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. So instead of who, I propose we start talking about how. In particular, I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. Now that's a good question. We searched everywhere, but we couldn't figure out how to explain his body. But the possibility is still, but the possibility is still there that you know he could have been faking it this whole time. To what Celeste said. We could have not been gone for more than a minute or two, though. So then the killer was able to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time? It would seem so. 
His body apparently disappeared in the one minute her and Hina took their eyes off of it. But to carry that much weight from the first floor up to the third in that short amount of time? Oh man, yeah. There's no way. It's impossible. Maybe what magic? Well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? Mm -hmm. How? If the dead body were to move itself. Huh? The, the dead body moved on its own? No! Not another one scoop! We just found another ghost! I don't think it has anything to do with the occult. I think what she's implying is we thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality he was still alive. Mm. Alive? Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office? I mean, I do the same thing all the time, but I still walk out. Doesn't matter. He <laughs> me play dead. Oh, good boy. Good boy. The idea that he me was still alive. Is it really possible? Time to spin. Spin. Broken wish watch. Hmm, he was still alive, but impossible though. But how was his body moved anyway? Shortly, you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. Hmm, that is true. Is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Someone else's discovery. Yeah, there were. Yeah, we. The, the, the announcement was made when we found the bodies together. It could have been for he for me this whole time. Someone else's discovery. We should be using that. Are you saying that when we first found him, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No, it is impossible. Hifumi was dead. So maybe I should use the dead body has been found at the last part. Oh. Dang it, I missed it. I missed that Are shot right there. So now I'm back to the broken wristwatch. I should be using the flashback feature more. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wrong shot, wrong shot, wrong shot. I meant to use the flashback. I meant to use flashback. Dang it. I meant to use flashback. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. There we go. Oh. Wait, what? Shoot. Wait, did I think it wrong? Hmm. There's a chance he was actually still alive. Still alive, not impossible. Hifumi's dead body has been found. Hmm. 
I burnt the flashback bullet? Oh, wait, I burnt... If I used it once, it's burnt? Oh, if I use it once, it's probably been burned away, isn't it? So I should probably just be careful, do this, and then shoot it. Oh, nope, that was wrong. It was just wrong. It was wrong. Dang. Dang it, I lost. Well, well, thanks for coming, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the stream. This game is over because I died. Yeah, I'll give it another shot. I failed. Oopsie. No, but I feel like I got it. I feel like I got it, though. I feel like I do got it. It's just that this game, like... It's like we could have got the we could have like got through this already. It gets really confusing when they contradict each other. So let's see, Hifumi's body has been found too. So maybe if I just do this and then scan this, do I keep that flashback bullet instead? I do. Someone else's discovery. There we go. That's that's where I'm supposed to use it. Dad, there, there. Someone else's discovery. I had it. Was the body discovery announcement that was made really intended for Hifumi? Of course it was. The announcement played right after. Celeste's just being really difficult, chat. She's being really difficult right now. Maybe. But that was also the same time that Taka's body was found. That's right. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard the announcement. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hifumi or Taka. First of all, if two bodies had been found, there really should have been two announcements. And Byakuya had a good point. Is he gonna interject? Any comment? Well, it's a very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that it's only broadcast when three or more people find a dead body for the first time. That didn't answer our question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy bum. <laughs> well, actually, that was plenty. Mm -hmm. He said it's only broadcast when a body is discovered for the first time. Which means, even if we find the same body again later, he won't make the announcement again. If that's true, then why was the announcement made again later on? Mmm. Later on? Exactly. We heard the body discovery announcement twice. Yeah, we did. The second body discovery announcement, the first time it played was when we found each body in the nurse's office in the equipment room. And the second time was when... Just after he for me, when both bodies were rediscovered. It was when they were rediscovered. We heard it a second time in the repository, when we rediscovered the two bodies. A body has been discovered after a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like. The collage trial will begin. It didn't seem weird at the time, but it contradicts what Monokuma just told us, doesn't it? Exactly. If we were actually rediscovering both bodies, the announcement shouldn't have played. And in reality, when the two dead bodies were rediscovered, one of them was actually being discovered for the first time. Hmm. So when we found Hifumi the first time in the nurse's office, he wasn't actually dead yet. Meaning he wasn't actually found dead until we came upon Ah, him the that explains the twice. That's just part of it. There's one other thing that leads me to believe he was still alive in the nurse's office. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey fandom welcome to the stream how do you do this was the second death really necessary chapter yes it kind of was because the thing is it proves that he for me was still alive at the time because remember we found the the handkerchief in the garbage can 
and when we found him later, his glasses were cleaned. He used the cleaner to clean his glasses before dying. There has to be proof that Hifumi was still alive. I have to find it and show it to everyone. I have to find the proof and show it to everyone now. Major argument. His glasses. No notable difference. You mean the glass? You haven't seen the glasses, lady. Break. Reality break. There was one clear difference between Hifumi and the nurse's office and the repository. His glasses. That fact alone proves that he was only playing dead in the beginning. Yeah, like a dog. He was playing. He was playing dead like a dog. Perhaps you'd like to fill the rest of us in. When we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. Blood, I say blood. But when we found him again later in the repository, they were spotless. And I found the item he used to wipe them clean in the nurse's office trash can. He was using. The evidence was. The evidence was. His. Anime glasses cleaning cloth. I got it. With this With weird character on it. Featuring a certain cartoon mascot. Even me comes back alive. Actually, it's from an anime, my pretty, pretty, pretty princess. One look at the blood stain on the cloth should make things clear. This piece of cloth was used to wipe Hifumi's glasses clean. And the mascot on the cloth is the same one that's on the digital camera, right? And whose digital camera was it? Hifumi's, of course. The character was... Princess Tribble. And Demon Angel Pretty Puggy Princess. I love anime, can you tell? Chat, I love watching Demon Angel Star Pretty Pudgy Princess featuring Princess Pickles, the main character of the anime Demon Angel Pretty Pretty Punch. I highly doubt anyone I love anime. brought something like this to school. I see your point. And the only people here who wear glasses are. I wouldn't be caught dead using a tacky piece of garbage like that. Then you see Biaki at his home, like, after all of this, like, ah, pretty pudgy princess, I wish you were mine. I wish I were you. Is all I need to keep my glasses clean. You need better ways to clean your glasses, girl. Then there's no question. It belongs to you. Mm. So, what you're saying is. What is that? What I'm saying is, the blood on his glasses was wiped away using his own glasses cleaning cloth. Even if that is true, it does not mean he wiped the blood off himself. But who would benefit from a clean pair of glasses other than the glasses owner? Yeah, true. That's a good point. But it must have been him, right? So let's assume that Hifumi was still alive in the nurse's office. He pretends to be dead. Then when he's alone, he wipes his glasses clean so he can see. Then he stands up and walks out on his own two feet. And with that, the impossible task of moving his copious Yeah, because the thing is, who's gonna move him? Who the heck can move him? Maybe Sakura, but Sakura's innocent. If he was just pretending to be dead. All right, chat, raise up hands. Who else pretends to die? Who, who, who else pretends to play dead? Anybody? Anybody? Just me? Okay. Ew, imagine using somebody's blood. It's like, just rips it open. There we go. The one who moved Taka's body was Taka himself. Sakura. Of course, it's gotta be Hifumi. It was Sakura, who has been innocent this whole time. That also explains how the door to the repository got locked. 
By the way, Chad, just to make sure, does this game have five chapters or, or are there more chapters in this game? Because I'm assuming there's five, just like Phoenix Wright. Rip 3DS and Wii U stores. Wait, what's going on with those stores? Are they shutting down? Oh man, if they shut down, that's the end of an era right there. When Tina and Sakura got to the repository, someone was already inside. And it could only have been Hifumi, who just finished stashing Taka's body there. He convinced us all he was dead. And when he saw his chance, he dragged Taka's body to the repository. So, Hifumi wasn't just another victim in this case. He was one of the assailants. Oh. That means he took part in the murders. I just can't believe it. I know your friends are killing each other. If you're having trouble, would you like me to show you one more piece of evidence? Kyoko hiding evidence? More? Oh, absolutely. The single biggest fact pointing to his involvement has yet to be revealed. You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The item. Oh, it's it's my it's my turn. March 2023, I won't be able to purchase from them. Oh no, I won't be able to buy my 3DS game anymore. <laughs> oh. The one he took from Taka was the scrap of paper. Oh. Oh, it has to be the full sheet of paper then. I got it. There we go, it's the full note, not the piece of paper, it was the full note. But the thing is, Taka had the piece of he had a piece of the note, so I thought I present the piece of the note, not the full note. That's right. We found it stuffed in his Yeah, pants. the full note was in uh Hifumi's pants and yeah. What? In his pants? Pants? Yes. His pants. <laughs> hey, well, forget about the pants. For That's now. right, chat. Take pants. Hmm. Feels like pants. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. And yeah, Monokuma's like, what do you mean where you can't? Wh what? Wait, this one's a little different. In my note, it said, Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. see. Then this note isn't the same one Hiro got. It's the same? In other words, the killer got in touch with another person besides Hiro, and that person could only have been... Hifumi's pants? Of course, it's gotta be Hifumi's pants, right? I got it. What kind of answers are those? Right. Hifumi's pants, Taka. me, or Taka, the obvious answer. It's like joke answer, joke answer, or the real answer. Oh, you, okay. What if I just chose the pants? He wanted to meet his pants, of course. Hello, over here. Objection, objection. Oh, objection. Hey, Rush, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Genocide Jack predicted TikTok. She said TikTok. Genocide Joe predicted TikTok before TikTok happened. <laughs> Genocide Jack is seriously scary, but still. I can't let her get to me. Broken wrist watch, he moves glasses and glasses cleaning pill off. Let's go. He's in me. What time did it say to me? Six a.m. It kind of doesn't matter. The note has nothing to do with TikTok. Hmm, nothing to do with Taka. Yeah, nothing to do with Taka. You sure? These bullets are not useful anyway. Remember what the note said. Nothing to do with talk, you sure? 
what the note said. Coffee, remember what the note said. Ah, oh, they meant to do that. Remember what the note said. Mmm, not the right thing. It has nothing to do with TikTok. Nothing to do with, do nothing to do with Taka. I gotta stop saying TikTok. I don't know why she's bringing out Huffy and TikTok already. Like, why is she confusing us now? Saying Huffy and TikTok. Oh. I meant to use the flashback feature. Dang. I am sorry, chat. I am very sorry. I am not a pro game player. Why is the text spinning around so much? Nothing to do with TikTok. It sure has nothing to do with TikTok. Oh. Oh, wait, I gotta use the broken wristwatch then. I have to use the broken wristwatch. There we go. Okay, so the broken wristwatch was in effect because it broke at 6 a.m. It broke. It broke at 6, so of course it was... There's a connection. I was thinking the wrong way. I really have to think about it. The note said to meet at 6 a.m., which is the same time Taka was murdered. My goodness, when you really have to think, it makes me, it just makes my brain go. You've already proven that using his wristwatch. But there's more. Look where the note says to meet. The equipment room, right? Which is where Taka was killed. I see. So, Taka was murdered at both the time and place written in the note. I think that should be plenty to show that this note was definitely meant for Taka. Well, we Sorry, Chad, I'm just bobbing to the music. Well, that was useless. Someone used that note to trick Taka. Just the same as me. The culprit really is a cold-blooded monster. Telling people they found a way out. But if they gave the note to Taka, what was Hifumi doing with it? Took down his pants, no less. Most likely, Hifumi stole it off Taka's corpse after he died. Huh? He stole it? Yep, stealing dead people's things. Go ahead, show us. Prove that Hifumi stole the note from Taka. It's gotta be this one here, the scrap of paper. When I searched Taka's body, I saw that his lifeless hand was gripping a small scrap of paper. If I'm right about this, the sheet of paper this piece came from is... I knew it! It fits perfectly with the note we found hidden on Hifumi. Perfect match, too! And he died from it. Oh, After seeing all this, he thought he was super involved in this whole thing for sure. In fact, he was behind the whole thing. In fact, he's still alive. Sorry, uh, no, he died after. When we found him in the repository, he thought he was truly and completely dead. Unless somebody did that, you know temporary dead thing where it's like oh yeah you'll be dead for an hour but you'll come back because uh, i stopped your heart temporarily body discovery announcement proves that. i can stop your heart temporarily oh i did it permanently sorry and that's what i'm trying to figure out who is the true one Hmm. During that time, 
time, we'd all split up and were searching for Taka's missing body. Hello, Fun Cake. Welcome to the stream. How are you? In other words, during that time, none of us have alibis. Wait, but me and Sakura were together. Stop trying to steal the spot like you stupid walrus. Walrus? When they were killed bothers me. Just hear walrus sounds There's in the background. That's what a walrus does sound like. They go more. And what might that be? Or was that a seal noise? The they no, they no the walrus thing. do sound like that. Yeah, Weapon. that yeah, that's what they sound like. Yeah. Because I mean, according to the Monokuma file, the way Taka and Hifumi were killed was almost the same. With them having similar Hold on, yeah, just taking notifications. Oh, I see the I see the notification about Nintendo closing the e, the 3DS and Wii U eShop. Wow, that is uh that is an end of an era right there. Wow. I guess that I don't know. So if Fumi was killed in the repository, the culprit would have had to grab one of the hammers, kill a Fumi. Oh yeah, what brings you here, Fun Cake? What brings you here? I hope you're having a good night. The same to everybody else in the chat. I hope everybody's having a wonderful night tonight so far. I hope everybody's okay with me not talking much because I want the characters to talk. It's packed in there good and tight. So I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure chat you rather hear characters talk than me talking over the characters because you know. He's right though. I don't understand. So we're funny cake. Are you a fan of Danganronpa? The Monokuma file makes it clear that they were killed using similar instruments. But if the hammers were already laying around those other Oh, rooms, that's cool. It's my first time so playing through this game. I'm having a good time with this. I've gotten their hands on either of the hammers. Personally, I haven't a clue. So you love the bear. The bear is very rest. cute, that's for sure. One or a two. very cute killer, I know. Those were accounted for in other rooms too. And I don't think either one is big enough to kill someone. Um then, uh... Is it not possible they used a different weapon? I mean, there is the wet hammer that we found, though. I don't think it is possible. They were both killed with the same kind of No thing, fun right? kick, no spoilers. Do not help with that at all. That is spoilers. So then, what was used to kill Hifumi? I don't want anybody to spoil or backseat game. I want to play through this thing my whole s through myself. The weapon that was actually used to kill Hifumi. The whole picture surrounding this case won't become clear until we figure that out. Somehow I have to find the true. Let's spin it. The spotless hammer, the clean one, the one that was cleaned and washed. So great ace attorney after this, right? What if I didn't do that fandom? Would you be very sad? Or are you just waiting for Great Ace Attorney 2 after this? You're just like, I can't wait for Pixel to finish this. Here it is. Oh, wait, what? So it's not five then. Oh, okay. Justice Hammer 5. He did bring up five, so maybe I gotta do that. Let me see the rest of this first. Murdergear.com slash hammer time. Wait, is that a weird is that a real site? Hold on, I'm gonna check real quick. Murdergear.com slash hammer time. I gotta see if that is a site. It's not oh wait, actually that is a site. Murder gear, it goes to a different site called murdergear.bigcartel.com and it's zombie gear. It's mostly just zombie, like zombie logos, zombie hats, zombie shirts. It's an actual site, but not Danganronpa. It's not Danganronpa. That is weird. There we go. It wasn't a justice hammer. It was just a regular hammer. But yeah, I do want to play the other Danganronpa games soon because this one's fun, though. No. I'm really curious to see how the other games go, but there's too many games and so little time. Specifically, a hammer from the repository. The killer could have easily used that to kill 
Now, all the hammers in the repository were covered in flecks of grit and debris. For some reason, one of them had been scrubbed clean. You know, that looks like Mario's hammer right there. That's the hammer Mario uses. He goes, come on, and smashes somebody. Was most likely because it was used to commit murder. If the hammer got covered in Hikuni's blood, of course they'd have to clean it off. Yeah, I appreciate it, but like, you know, no spoilers at all for these games because I'm playing this for the first time. If spoilers are said, that will ruin how I feel about these games. Because this game has has been surprising me in many ways. I just want to play. I want to I want to play and share share the love of this game with everybody here. So yeah, that's all I want to say. I think whoever made the justice hammers used those as a basis for their design. If that's true, that and I'm just vibing to the music. So he really moved Papa's body to the repository, where someone then used the hammer to kill him. Two people. D oh. Man, them. I can't believe you would say that. That two people just. D What's next? Are you going to tell me that Monokuma is not a good guy? That Celeste is. That Celeste actually likes Makoto? Like. We did talk about how there wouldn't be any reason for anyone to work together. At least that's what we thought at first, but. But. Now we're back to the hammer again. Impossible. Are you sure it's impossible, though? Two murders. Hmm, I always really say that there's no chance two people work together on this. Is it impossible, though? Hold on. Maybe if I take the two murders and then bring it to the other one, maybe that's the way to do it. Because can't one person do two murders? Yeah, isn't that thing? Can't one person just do two murders? At most? Since there were two murders, it's at least plausible that more than one person was involved. What do you mean? If there'd only been one murder, then yes, the idea of an accomplice is Also, really funny cake, don't worry. Naturally, You're just saying things, but of course, don't go too far into thinking like, oh, I'm not a murderer, it's fine. Nobody's saying anything. Just be chill, just be chill. That's all you gotta be. Just buy chill. There's something on my neck? Oh, there is. Hair. There's no point in being someone's accomplice. I freaking no shed benefit. like a beast. However, if there were some potential mutual reward for the risk, Wait, who died so far? If you see the pictures with the X's on them, they're dead. You're saying that too many names to list off so far, but if you see an X on their face, they are dead here. I think that's what the true killer told Fumi. They would each have an accomplice for their crime. And based on the case's events, Fumi would have been the first one to act, murdering Taka. They made him carry out the first murder so he couldn't back out of helping them later on. Mm. So in this case, there wasn't one single person committing multiple murders. Instead, each person killed someone, creating two separate incidents. So someone killed Taka. So he for me killed Taka, and he for me was killed by someone else. And it only looked like one person because that's how the true killer designed it to work. A single suspicious individual, a similar weapon used in each crime, disappearing bodies by creating one seamless set of circumstances, 
They made it look like one person was behind it all. The mastermind picked their target and managed to... Now we gotta find out who is the mastermind of this whole thing. And then to avoid the no accomplices rule, they simply killed their accomplice. Easy as that, I guess. true means that betraying Hifumi was part of the plan from the very beginning. I can't help but admire its cunning. Still, the hmm. accomplice seems odd. The effort made to convince us the two murders were the same. That was the main characteristic this time. Yoko must have noticed that fact from the very beginning, which is why she said not to look at this as a series of connected events, but entirely separate incidents. Yoko really is amazing. Although, when you think about it, she's almost too amazing. Like, it's almost unnatural how good she is at this. Yeah, there's something going on with Kyoko. She ain't the perfect girl that Makoto thinks she is. The true killer manipulated he for me to carry out a number of actions and in the end murdered him. In the debates up until now, the way the case has unfolded, when you consider all that, there's really only one person who seems to fit. Oh... It was Sayaka Maizono, she t It can't be Sakura, innocent. Kyoko's really sus, though. Can't be Asahina, because she's been with us. Hiro's been in the suit the whole time, stuck in a locker. It can't be him. Can't be Byakuya. Celeste just doesn't like me, so... Guess I Jill didn't do it, so... Could it really be... You? Me? What are you basing that on? I would very much like to hear your explanation. Oh, I guess that doesn't work. Ah, oh, I, I sussed her too much, though. I sussed her too much. Really? Then who could it be? Because I know it's not her. Could it be? Hmm. He's on everybody so far. I mean, it could be Hero because the thing is, he's been saying all these things, yet nothing has come up, so could it be him? What? Is it all coming back to me again? Hold on. Have we already shown this up? Dang, then wait. Shoot. Have I not been thinking about this? A second the only other person besides those two it could have been celeste then she's been tr she's been defend she's been a bit more she's been she doesn't like me she's been attacking me a lot more this whole time and she seems to be i don't know but i couldn't really think it was her but i've been passing her off it might be her it was celeste now, she has been acting sus this whole time, but I really just thought it was like Kyoko because I thought she was sus and it could have been back to her hero, but... Huh. I really do like this kind of joke. A joke? I wonder. So what you are saying, then, is that I specifically chose to work together with Hifumi. Well, the thing is, the thing is, there was that one time where... He he for me will listen to whatever Celeste was saying. There was that time, and he for me will listen to whatever Celeste said. I'm pretty sure if Celeste said go kill somebody, he would. To jump off a cliff, he would. The idea that I would choose to spend any amount of time interacting with him. You did tell him to make tea for you, and he did. Oh. Oh my goodness. I think we just saw the real Celeste. There was certain behavior that was common only to the two of you. Considering what we've learned so far, it only further proves that the two of you were working together. What is it that only he and Celeste had in common? Discre encountering the suspicious individual. The behavior they had in common has to do with the suspicious individual in the suit, doesn't it? The only 
ones who ever actually saw Robo Justice. Ah, that's right. The adults are talking now. Hello? Sorry. As he said, only Celeste. So I was right. Why didn't somebody shut up? Shut up. If we accept that wow, Viakia is rude as heck. Suspect what Celeste has said as well. You see, everything they told us was a lie. Pretty much. After taking Hifumi to the nurse's office, we all began our search for this individual, correct? And not too long after that, do you remember what Celeste said? Saw so a shadow, something moving around at the top. Oh wow. Yeah, she saw a shadow around the top of the stairs. The floor specifically because of what she claimed to have seen. Next, to draw us all to the physics lab up on the third floor, she let out a blood curdling scream. Ah. Uh. Come to see what was wrong. What was it she said? Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, that strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. Once she'd done her job of getting us all up to the physics lab, it was time for her partner to get to work. Ah, dang, Biokia. Huh? What was that? That came from downstairs and must have been he for me. He's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. It was to get us to divide into two groups so that we would discover both bodies we are get, at the we same are getting time. close on we are getting fact, we're getting to the bottom of this now the one who proposed that we split up oh then why don't we split into two groups i'll lead the hunting party that seems much more interesting very well then makoto and hina you come with me to the nurse's office i will leave the capture of the suspicious individual to toko biakia and sakura well, if Celeste and Hifumi were working together, all those chance events suddenly become connected. And on top of that, that piercing cry of yours early on. That was a scream. Ha -ha! That was to signal Hifumi, wasn't it? It was your way of telling him, we're on the third floor. Everything's going according to plan. Wow. Why else would you let out a scream that could have carried across the sea? Why would you scream fake like that? Who goes, ha, ha, ha. I just realized another strange thing. When we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, who we now know was only pretending to be dead. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. I would not imagine that my friend, Hifumi, the fat guy, would be murdered. My friend, Hifumi. Celeste, you were the first one to say he'd been murdered. You wanted to make sure we wouldn't have any doubt in our minds. Wow, this whole time has been right in our faces yet. I don't believe it. Everything. It's been one big act, one big old play. You were with Celeste when Hifumi's body disappeared, right? Yeah. I was feeling kind of sick, so oh, Celeste took me to the bathroom. Oh, and that was the time for Hifumi to get away, not that they're gone. Then that was... She wasn't worried about you. She just saw a chance to help Hifumi sneak out of the nurse's office. Oh my she goodness. By itself, but start putting them together and the picture gets very ugly indeed. Wouldn't you agree, Celeste? I Ooh. And she's trying to play innocent. Trying to deny it. You made one fatal mistake. Oh, I didn't even catch it myself when you first said it. But looking my back, goodness, this game just gets better and better right there. Wait, do I gotta find a slip up? I gotta find a slip up, don't I? What are you talking about? I'm talking about what you said after Hifumi's body disappeared and he returned to the nurse's office. This whole game is just one big drama. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around frightened and confused. We're all going to die here. We're going to die just like those guys died. Toko, 
Makoto and I were first to discover Kata's body in the equipment room. Then Makoto showed up and told us Hifumi had been killed. So Sakura and I left with Makoto. Once we were in the hall, we ran into Celeste, and the four of us headed to the nurse's office. Now, the entire time we were together, none of us said anything. Oh, she slipped up because she knew Taka was dead, but we didn't tell her. Think about it. Celeste's comment doesn't make sense. Celeste was, was Celeste was way too ahead. She was way ahead. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. She slipped up big time. You hear that, Celeste? Everyone's having some trouble understanding. Could you repeat what you said? If you're really not the culprit, you shouldn't have any problem repeating it, right? You actually said that Celeste's comment doesn't make any sense. But what is he alluding to? I love us. <laughs> I love us, chat. I love all of us, chat. You're all great, chat. We're all going to die here. Just like those guys. Hmm. There we go. I'll take the so strange comment. The so strange comment. All of us. All. Guys like those guys. There we go. No, it's wrong. Break. Break. That's right. There's no reason Celeste should have said just like those guys died. You see, that's the strange thing right there. None of us had told her Taco was dead. And boom, that's the reason why. Exactly. And we didn't run into her until after we were all out in the hall. There was never any chance for her to have seen his body in the equipment room for herself. So how did you know, Celeste? Mm -hmm. How did you know more than one person had been killed? And how did you know they were both guys? Because Kyoko had also disappeared, right? So she could have been dead too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh. You all have such vivid imaginations, you know that? Imaginations? You claim that I was lying when I told you about the suspicious person I saw. Then what about the picture I took? How do you explain this picture of the costumed villain dragging Hifumi away? It, it has to be some kind of setup, right? So let's put the suit on, and then... No, remember, Hero, you were in the suit. You were knocked out. You were probably posed. You were posed to take that photo right there. It was all posed. It was all fake. Celeste, you're being a big old liar right now. Simple. Are we sure that's really a picture of the suspect dragon? Thank you, Kyoko. What could you possibly mean by that? Surely there are other explanations than the ones you've offered up. No, there is no other explanation. No, shut up, ratioed. Other explanations? Hmm, if it wasn't a picture of the suspect dragon heaping me away... The only other possibility possibility is Hifumi is dragging the suspect away. Hifumi and the suspect are dancing. They have been drinking. The dancing, drinking, or suspect. What? What are these options here? Oh my goodness, I love that. It's like, oh yeah, they were dancing, they were drinking. I I love that. I freaking love that. They were dancing. They were they, they were just half they were it's having a, a smoke. That's the what they were doing. Fumi away. <laughs> this picture is them dancing together. They were just 
the whole time. Why? I, I know that this game is supposed to be challenging, but when it gives you joke answers like that, it's funny, though. It's like, what if I just choose them dancing? Oh, yeah, they were doing the tango. They were, t they were twerking. That's what they were doing. Of course they were. Of course it's the first answer. I'm just laughing at the other answers because it's funny, though. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. My Coca-Cola's done. That's what happened. You put me to sleep and made me out to be the bad guy in all this. Ding, ding, ding. Hero finally made a good point. <laughs> Such a thing is utterly impossible. Now explain that to us how it is. Ridiculous, is it? I don't think it's ridiculous at all. She's trying to defend herself, but it's not working. Oh. The last thing she can prove that there's no way Hifumi was dragging the suspect away, but is that really possible? Here we go. Verbal Justice costume, the message, and blueprint. You dressed me up in that suit after I passed out. Then you just drink me across Hifumi and had him carry my weight. Ah. Hold on, I gotta look at the have the arms been like this. Is it the blue it could be the blueprint. I think I should use it here. Oh flip, that's not it. I just thought they were meant to be okay. Let me look at this over again. I have to turn my weight. I know it's my last life. I know. I I already had a game over here before. It's I'm thinking I'm thinking way too much about this. Let's see, it was unconscious. You sure? Let me go see one more thing real quick. Yeah, they can't bend. They can't see their feet or bend at the waist. They 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 be standing up the whole time. So it, it has to be this. There we go. Break. No. Even if the person inside the suit were unconscious, they could still stand up like that. Because they can't bend at all. A certain characteristic. You totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. Yeah, fandom. There were there were some parts where it got really tricky, though. So it was my bad. It got really tricky at that one part. It doesn't mean I'm trying to get game over. I'm really thinking, but it's like sometimes the answers are easy. But other times they're like, if I knew what happened five hours ago, maybe I remember. The game gets tricky. Game gets tricky. Oh, she's cracking. Celeste and Hifumi took the suit they'd specially designed and stuck Hiro into it. That's how they were able to fake that whole thing. Yeah, so even if you were knocked out, he can't even bend over or anything. That, ah, that's uncomfortable. That's really uncomfortable right there. Well then, I suppose this is checkmate. <laughs> well, my whole world flipped upside down. Oh! What do you mean, checkmate? Celeste? Oh, that is creepy. Did her accent change? Hey, Yifumi, who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? 
That's right, I remember their name. Yasu Hero. Well, he, she didn't say that. He didn't say it that way. He said Yasu Hero. You gotta do it with the dying voice, Celeste. Alright, alright. Fun cake, enough with the spamming. Do not do that. Don't be spamming links like that. Come on. Enough of that. You're only making things more complicated. He did say Yasu Hero. But are we sure he was really pointing the finger at Hero? What the hell are you talking about? I'm burned to a lot! Oh, oh, she said she was gonna kill. Do it. Put the hammer on her. What do you mean by that? Think back to how Hifumi used to talk to us. He said people's last names. He said for serious a lot. He gave everyone nicknames. Hmm. Wait, what? Wait, what was it to refer to each one of us? Was it nicknames or last? It was last names. It was last names. That's right. Our last name. There we go. It was that, yes. So he wouldn't say Yasuhiro. Holy flip, Celeste is slipping up more and more. Indecent, don't talk. Wait, Celeste doesn't have a last name. And that's Celeste. She never actually told us what her real name is. What did you just say? To think you'd take your false accusation so far, I don't know whether to laugh or spit. Do both. Come on. Enough with your idiotic blather. Yasuhiro is a loser's name. Do I look like a loser to you? Oh my goodness. Do I? What? I think I've earned the right to be a little on edge. Chad, can I be on edge sometime? I want to be on edge sometime. I just want to be like, do I look like someone who earned the right to be a little on edge? You will see me go insane. But anyway. Okay, then fill us in. What's your real name? She's pretty angry for someone who supposedly didn't commit murder. Well, I didn't do it either. Do I look angry to you? <laughs> Alright, everybody, open up your ear holes. Celeste won't give up, so then I have to do something to make her accept it. Let's go. E handbooks, ballas, hammer, Yashihiro's message. Kikumi was trying to tell us something. He wanted us to know the killer's last name, Yasuhiro. Hold on. I was told that the handbook. Hmm, the handbook should play a part in this. So maybe here. Ah, flip. I thought it'd be that easy, but no, it wasn't. I just thought like, oh wait, the E handbook. I was told that it plays a part. Maybe if we look at it, it would say the last name. Let's keep, let's keep listening. That's my fault right there. I thought way too quickly. Why is it up like down? <laughs> How long do you plan to go on pretending? 
Wait, did it say I love it when Master goes yelling at people? What? What did that say? Hmm? I've been called a moron now. What the heck? How do I being called a moron? Oh, the note though. Me in the dining hall. That is pretty neat handwriting. It could be that or the handbook. Hmm, is there something? Is hmm, okay, there we go. I got it. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Is at the end. We use it at the end. We got this. And if I get it wrong, then I'm sorry. I love it when Master yells at people. Oh, that was Genocide Jill, wasn't it? Here we go. I thought it. I used it too early. I was supposed to use it here. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. So all we have to do is check your handbook, and that'll clear up everything. That's how we can find out Celeste's real name. That's an invasion of privacy. I, I refuse to cooperate. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we got her. Even when I'm put in check, it's just my nature not to give up. Because, 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 until the game's over, you never know what might happen. Finally, let me settle in. Let me go over the case again from the beginning and shed light on all your crimes. Because, and that'll bring everything to an end. Oh, was it comic time? It's comic time! Okay, so now we got we got a great person again. Let's go. But he's turned turned into a fancy white. Holy flip, there's a lot of panels to choose from. Well, I got 20 minutes to choose. I got 20 minutes. So let's see. They both met, but what happened here? I know the blood is not there, but let's keep going. Oh, wait, this could go here. Oh, yeah, manga time. But, you know, it's a comic. It's comic time. Hmm, let's see what else. So it could be one o'clock. It was one o'clock. Yasuhiro came in. Hakakure came in. And then. Not the ball. Is that just a bag of chips? What does the bag of chips have to do with anything? He came in. He was like, ah, oh, what the heck is going on? And then he got floor foamed and got knocked out. They put him in the suit. Let's see. And something about that. What happened? I'll go back to this because something happened with the suit. But what happened with the suit? That's the dolly. He didn't move the dolly. Was it the ball? No, it can't be. So, Act 3. He's looking at his watch. I can say that. He looked at his watch. It's 6 a.m. He goes, ooh, brings out a hammer. And then he goes freaking Super Saiyan, activates Ultra Instinct mode, and knocks him out. Holy flip. Oh, let's see. Was it, it was just his hammer 3 that was used. It was three, no way. No, no, it wasn't that. We'll go back to that. So camera, Joe's camera. Oh, wait. The picture was taken at that time. No, wait, was it? No. Was the picture taken at that time? Oh, the picture was taken then. 
Picture was taken then. Oh, that's four. Picture was shown. It goes to the library. Oh, wow. He moved the body. That I didn't know for sure. He moved the body here. And then he sees the great person going, yeah. And then he does a little dance. And she, the, the person's like, Ugh, I don't like you. What does the bag of chips got to do with anything, though? Was two used? I don't think two was used. Because I know it was three, then four, so... I'm gonna say four was there. The normal hammer? Oh, wait, you're... Oh, yeah, that is the normal hammer. Oh, my bad. My bad, you're right, it was the normal hammer that was used. Not a justice hammer, justice hammer was used on Taka. You're right, CB, thank you for that. I'm still missing two pan- well, three panels. But I don't know what those three are for. A justice hammer was used here. But it was the bigger hammer, so it had to be three? Wait, it was- no, four is the bigger one, right? The farther it goes, the bigger it is, right? Look at the other panels. Oh, four, four, four. Yep, it's four. I see it, I see it. Thank you about that. It was four. I, should, I, I was looking, but I'm like, you know, at that part, your brain just starts going on the fritz, and you're like, eh. It was four. Four dripping with blood. And then we're back here. Backpack? Could it be the backpack? Because I have nothing else to use right now. Hmm. Oh wait, there's another panel here. All right, I think that's everything. The killer is you. Let's reenact. Ending, I really hope I got them right. The murder, and that person was... They touched hands. How naughty. Hmm, so far so good. First, they convinced someone to meet them in the rec room last night at one in the morning. And they knocked them out. Someone they met with was Hero. The murderous duo intended to pass Hero off as the prime suspect. So when they met up with him, they drugged him, knocked him out, and stuffed him into the Robo Justice suit. camera to take pictures of the assault they did all this just to create evidence that would put the suspicion on hero when they were done with him they shoved him still unconscious into the full room locker now act three and then finally at 6 a.m they moved into the murder phase of their plan they called taka to the equipment room i can't believe they killed super saiyan taka though Poor Taka, he didn't deserve any of that. Making it the scene of the first murder. The murder weapon was Justice Hammer 4, which was left there in the equipment room. The reason Hammer Number 4 was used was to create confusion about the order of the crimes. Act 4. So, next they falsified two more assault incidents. For these attacks, 
The killers pretended to be the victims to solidify Robo Justice as the suspect. The first fake incident was the attack in the rec room. There, the killers wanted us to see Justice Hammer won, and the Robo Justice pictures they took. They wanted to make sure we bought the surprise attack store. The second fake incident was the attack in the library. This time, they planted Justice Hammer 2 and an injured Hifumi to sell us that store. With these two incidents, the killers were able to create a certain preconception in our minds that the suspect was increasing the size of the hammers and attacking people in order as they did. We fell right into their trap and started looking for the suspect based on that. But... Ooh. Oh, I was so close. Ah, oh, I was doing so well, but I messed up right there. Flip. But I'm not giving up. Ah, oh, flip. I was doing so well. <laughs> flip. Does that mean I gotta... I hope, doesn't, I hope that doesn't mean I gotta redo the whole thing. Ah, oh, flip. I gotta do it all over again. Ah, oh, oh, dang. And they, re they rearranged all the panels. Flip. Now I gotta... Do it all over again. Okay, 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 I got you. That's a big punishment right there. Wow. Good thing I remembered. Good thing I remembered. I remember the 24th of September. Hmm. I think the body was moved. He was moving the body as the time goes. But then we're here. Blood splattered on that poster. See the bodies. No way, that was... Ah, uh, this has to go over here because he... Because he moved the butt. No way, he, sh he was shown moving the body, but... Justice Hammer 2? Could be Justice Hammer 2? Huh. Because it shows him pushing the body. He was moving the body all the way there. And then at the end, he was killed. Could it be 3? Here's exactly what happened. Uh, let's see. But now we gotta go, we gotta do all this again. Let's just get back to where we were though. Wow, I can't believe that if you lose all your lives, you have to reset everything up again. But it's my fault for getting punished that many times. This has been a tough case to think about though. I hope, I hope, I hope there wasn't anybody that says, oh, this was super easy. Everybody thinks differently, and I just had a tough time myself. But am I having fun? I am. So, of course, we saw all that happen. He goes, oh, dies. Justice Hammer 4, and now we're back at Act 4. Let's do it. So, we saw all, we heard all of that. Not there. He's tired, but what about, though? What is he tired about? Cause I know it has to do nothing with one of these things. What is he tired about? Hmm. It's not that he's tired, he has blood on his forehead, doesn't he? Well, the thing is, it's just that he puts the blood on afterwards in Act 5. It's just that what goes on here? I'm gonna try Justice Hammer 2? Okay, it was two in the library. Oh my goodness, it was two in the library. I'm a doofus. While we did that, we left Hifumi alone in the 
Bill will bring it to the Oh goodness, this has been a tough chase. My brain cannot handle it. What is that animation? What is that animation? Blood transformation, go! Oh wait. Look, it wasn't the poster that was pre painted on. Three. Three, 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 three. It was three, 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 three. This bit of the OST is one of your favorites, Gavin. It is pretty good. I can agree on that, though. Me can't agree because me agree with people because me awesome. There we go. And the great person is also shocked. Yeah, the, the poster threw me off. I was like, wait a minute, that poster is from the last chapter. But it's like the way it was spinning around, it's like it could have hit a poster, but that poster was not there. Not every place in the school has that girly poster. It has a swimsuit. So that was a big groups right there. Act six. Sorry, Gavin. The Twitch bot was like, you know, we don't like that word, Climax Return, even though that's the name of the music. It was like, no, 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 you can't use that word. Don't know, Gavin, don't know. All right, at least I got that far right. Dirty mind mod. Wait, why was peace a band word? I have no idea. I don't know why peace was a band word. <laughs> it doesn't like one piece. It doesn't like one piece at all. What's with the roses? They kissed behind the roses! Oh, that's actually cool. That's cool art right there. You lose. <gasps> There's glass everywhere! around my neck then you admit it you're the killer <laughs> listen to you trying to take charge as if you're my private instructor telling me I lose every day I, Celestia Ludenberg actually no Taiko Yasuhiro is fine Taiko 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 Yasuhiro I'm the kind of person but Once I've lost, I don't like things to drag on. <laughs> her accent is completely different now. I guess that's her normal accent. She's like, yeah, I lost. That's it. Yeah, that's all I gotta do. What if I just stop talking in this uh, in this way? Like, by the way, chat, this isn't my real voice. This is my real voice. How you like it now? Do you like me now, chat? I've been talking to my real voice the whole time. What's my final result? Hey, even through all those mess ups, I still got an A. Yeah. Okay, Monokuma. I'm ready to begin. Or, no. The music is a bit louder than the audio of the characters. Yeah, I've realized that the whole time, Gavin. I can't change that right now. I'll make sure to change it before chapter four. I suppose this is the end, isn't it? It is indeed the moment we've all been waiting but for. But I thought everybody loves the music rather than voices. I thought people love music. If you would, please locate your lever and cast your vote. And when the votes are tallied, who will become the blackened? By the way, fun cake. Don't be rude. Just be like, 
please be please be quiet please and thank yous go far will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one what's it gonna be what's it gonna be then the bees release send out the bees but i guess it's time oh my goodness it's her It's basically formality at this point, but once again, you're totally correct. The black in this time, the true killer who devised the whole stinking scheme was... Celestia Ludenberg, or more precisely, Taiko Yasuhito! Wait, in the third game, they actually have you vote what? I lost, well that sucks. I guess trying to work with someone else was a mistake after all. Ifumi's ineptitude was beyond all my calculations. So you really did approach Shifumi with this plan. But how did you get him to agree? I can't imagine he would happily agree to commit murder. I'm sure she relied on her specialty. Lying. <laughs> My specialty? Don't make me laugh. I didn't have to lie to get him to agree. So then. then did you use... You know. <sighs> I knew you figured it out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. To get Hifumi to act as my accomplice, mm -hmm. I used... Her? For everyone who still left, I'll avoid mentioning it by name, but it was the one thing Hifumi and Taka were both super into. Oh, does she mean? Is she talking about alter ego? What? What? What are you talking about? Don't interrupt. We're in the middle. Madakuma, shut up. We're in the middle of a very important conversation here. Don't talk about AI again. I'm totally out of the loop as usual. How sad. Then you're the one that stole it. That's right. And you used it to drag Hifumi into the plan you come up with. <laughs> right again. Last night, after we had our meeting about how it had disappeared, I paid Hifumi a little visit. Um, oh, what are you doing here? Actually, I was hoping I can talk to you. Alone. It is about what was stolen. I know who did it. What? what? Are you okay it was Taka. This? He stole it. Yeah. What? So and I have proof. Would you like to see it? As it turned out, I found a use for the digital camera. I'd taken you-know-what to Taka's room early and took pictures of it there. What is this room? Oh no, he's got a waifu thing and a waifu thing and another one waifu figures everywhere. Man. <laughs> I deleted the picture as soon as I showed it to Hifumi, of course. Damnation. Yeah, so it was him. But well, how did he do it? She was supposed to yell if either one of us got close to her. <sighs> You are correct, which is why Taka forced me to steal it. Say what? what? As for me, Please forgive me. He he threatened me. Oh, he, um, he did? As for me, he came to my room last night unannounced, and then it's hard for me to even say. He abused me. What? What? Uh, and he took pictures. He said if I do not do as he asked, he would show them to everyone. So I had no choice. Damnation. Oh, Goodness, so he became- so he's really white knighting her now. Wow. I mean, he knew- I knew he'd gone a little crazy, but I never imagined he would- would go that far. Wow. It was amazing how completely he bought it. I can't express how enjoyable that was. I'm about to say something I never said before in my life. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to- uh, Kill him! Wait, please, if you go now, you'll be playing right into his hands. Hmm? Huh? Actually, Taka's planning to use her to escape. And he has made you his target. What? Escape? Y you don't mean... <sighs> Taka's going to try to kill you. <gasps> what? Indeed. And also, he can keep her to himself. Th that jerk! Ah! Honestly. Can we allow him... Can we allow him continue with these barbaric acts? <laughs> Absolutely not, how could I? She, she, I, I have to I save her. Save her. Then would you like to join with me? It just so happens I've come up with a plan. Huh? <laughs> I have devised a way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, it is complete. Hmm? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> Even me agreed without a second thought. The effect that Adam had on him was remarkable. 
The power of love, even a love as twisted as that can still drive people mad, it would seem. You disgust me. I see. I have another question for you. Was that strange costume Hifumi's creation? Indeed. Yeah, it was a real pain in the butt, too. All I asked him to do was make something to hide the face and general body size. I had no idea he makes something like that. But it's my fault for picking him in the first place. But... So why'd you decide to make me the suspect? Hmm. Because you're stupid. D that's it? Let's and in that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity surpassed my every expectation. <laughs> Life must have been tough on your parents, though. Jeez. Uh, I feel like I could cry. Well, but when you were explaining your plan to Heath and me, how did you explain the part about him playing dead? What she's asking is, what was Heath and me supposed to do after that, assuming you had actually let him live? Are you okay with That's you? simple. After he did his part in pretending to be dead, once someone showed up, I told him to say he's been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he barely just held, he just barely held on. And he really believed that? Well, of course, that wasn't all there is to it. As I explained it to Heath and me, the plan was, while you were all questioning him about what had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. At that point, Heath and me would have an alibi, so nobody could doubt him. I told him that, and he believed it. It all seems very straightforward, stereotypical. I just matched the lie to the level of the opponent. In fact, Heath and me led, ate it up. He believed the lie wholeheartedly right up until the moment of his death. So you have planned to kill him all along. But of course. There would have been no point in my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. How can human life mean so little to you? That's a non issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Now you sound like Yakia. No, he derives his pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. In that aspect, we are nothing alike. Then what made you take things this far? Was it really just for money? Are you talking about the $10 million Monokuma offered us? That is a lot of money, it's true. But that's not, the, that's not all there is to it. From the moment our new life here began, my only thought has been escape. But all along you've been saying how we have to accept living here. Obviously, that was a lie. I couldn't take it, I hated it from day one. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. Monokuma caused inflation in Japan. Can't believe him. I wanted to get out. Every day was fresh torture. And do you want to know why, huh? This is fine. Because I had a dream. And accepting a life here will mean nothing less than giving up on my dream forever. Honestly. And there was no way that I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to make a metaphorical killing. And it was all for that dream. And what was this dream of yours? To live in a European castle. A castle? Oh, no. <laughs> and to gather handsome men from all over the world to serve as my butler slash bodyguards. I was gonna make them dress up like vampires and satisfy my every. <laughs> she has a thing. She has a thing. Once I obtained that, I would have created a perfectly aesthetic world of decadence. Wait, decadence? That 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 that's the name of the game I have now. Danganronpa Decadence. This is fine. Living the rest of my life, there was only there was my only dream, my only goal. That will that's what life is all about. It is pretty good artwork though. <sighs> Combined with my own winnings, Monokuma's ten million dollars would made that dream a reality. I got right to the edge, but unfortunately, my dream has been scattered to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream to the very end, so why would I? You sound so passionate, but. You were really able to kill your own friends for it? Oh. Are you asking me to feel guilty? That's a pointless endeavor. I think nothing is sacrificing others for my own ends. I feel nothing. That's all there is to me. That's what makes me complete. <laughs> Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for a misunderstanding or understanding. What is this? Th that's what we should be saying. And plus, how could you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? Why aren't you scared? <laughs> My ability to lie is, so un is unrivaled and I take pride in that. It's not just other people. I can even fool my own emotions. The conscious deceives the unconscious. And that's why you're not scared? Yes, that's right. I don't fear death. Kill me however you like. But you know, if I could be reincarnated, if I had a choice, then 
I think I would like to come back as Marie Antoinette. Hey, Ollie Bobby. You just get executed again. <laughs> Celeste smiled then, and when she did, it looked to me like a poor effort to force it. She claimed she could fool her own feelings, but that statement itself must have been her final lie. And that weak, fake smile is what betrayed her. Kills, you all done? Kills. Okay, then let's get rolling. The black and disturb the peace and must pay the price. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment for her. The ultimate gambler. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. This is... Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why... Actually, it's not important. Well then... Take care, everyone. Alright, chat. Say goodbye to Celeste Ludenberg. Perhaps we'll One final time. In another life. Oh boy. Excuse me, it was going so well until that happened. Yay! Arson and then crashing. Like, it could have just left with that with just her burning, but it's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, someone's burning. It's over. The third execution is over. Celeste's death is over. Celeste killed my friend, so I can't pity her, but I can't I also can't deny that at one point I considered her a friend too. And for him to just come along and Isn't it just awful? Someone couldn't cut free of their regards from the outside world and so more people had to die. Extreme. You guys are still young. You need to place more value on your lives. What are you gonna do? Jeez, and here I thought you guys were gonna pass the torch of hope to the next generation. Get it? Torch? Torch? <laughs> She got burned. Well, what do I care about, Hope? I'll throw it in the trash if you just let me out of here. You're all the embodiment of Hope, whether you like it or not. It is my destiny to knock you down one by one. It's sad, yes it is, but that reality just can't be avoided. Don't talk you like you're not responsible. How long are you going to make us keep going through this? What do you want from us? God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. So anyway... Yoko, did I see you get some kind of key type object from Celeste? So, uh, what's the deal with that? Huh? What's the matter? I'll answer your question if you answer mine. What did you do? What did you do to me? Huh? What? Answer me. What did you do to my bot? Wait, what? What is going on here? I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. Um, what was that just now? The mastermind did something to Kyoko's body. What does that mean? 
Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I got out of here. Well, Meanwhile, you guys can go on enjoying your school life. If you get lonely, give me a shout. Now that I'll do anything about it, of course. See ya! <laughs> Monokuma disappeared, leaving us all depressed and in despair. Despair. Although it wasn't all despair, there was one small hope. Hey, Kyoko, Monokuma already mentioned it, but... Well, what's that key that Celeste gave you? So... Most likely, is the key to one of the dressing room lockers. Huh? What? Then that means... Hmm. Celeste probably hid it in there. Hey. I suppose sometimes it's easiest to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well, then we better go check. Indeed. Good idea. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. As we approached the dressing room, Kyoko looked back at us and said, hey. I'm going to go on alone from here. Everyone else head to the dining hall. I'll check in with you later. What? Why exactly are you going alone? So... Do you even have to ask? As she spoke, she glanced quickly at the surveillance camera. Come on. That's not what I mean. Why you? There's still the risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll go too. What? You? Please let me go. I love Kyoko. I mean, I want... Uh, uh, shut up, Yaku. Standing here arguing is just going to draw more attention to us. Goodbye. Do whatever you want. Thank you, Byakuya. Well, then. It is up to you now. I'm gonna go to the dining hall, okay? Huh, so Makoto and Kyoko are gonna go together? Does that mean what I think it means? Okay, Asahina, quiet down. Many people are dead, what the heck? Huh, most of my friends are dead, but you guys are going out, that's so cute. Okay. You like Makoto, girls like her are total pushovers when you show a little backbone. I try to forget what Hina said. Everyone headed to the dining hall, leaving me and Kyoko there alone. Shall we go? Well, shall we? Yeah. We need to get into that locker. Kyoko took the key Celeste had given her and unlocked the locker. And as the locker swung open, we slowly opened the door. We saw... Good morning! It's been a while, hasn't it? It's safe, thank goodness. I never hear Kyoko sound so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. I did just what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. Oh, and... I think I might be able to open the last set of files soon, maybe as early as tomorrow. I'm doing my best, so please wait just a little while longer. <laughs> so now we can officially say the case is closed. As far as this incident's concerned, sure, but... Can we take a second? Since we have this opportunity, I want you to be honest with me. Hiyoko, please tell me. What are you trying to do all on your own here at the school? Is that why you wanted to come here with me? Not to kiss me? Regardless, that's not something you need to know right now. I don't need to know. That just makes me even more worried. What? Worried? Like what happened during the investigation this time? You disappeared and we didn't see you again. Without warning, without an explanation. When you do that, Indeed. it's only natural that they think I'm the mastermind spy, right? And you too. No. I, I believe in you. What? You believe in me? Isn't it obvious? People believe in their friends, right? That's why I want you to tell me. And I want you to believe in me too. Because we're friends. Tomodachi. I understand. It's true. Then maybe I can believe in you. Just a little bit more. Then That's fine. fine, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. You see. What I heard from Kyoko then was, well, frankly, it kind of blew my mind. Right after I told Kyoko I believe in her, she told me a story that was, well, almost unbelievable. I decided I had to confirm about what she told me with my own two, ni two, two eyes, wow. My own two eyes, so I waited for nighttime to come. And when it did, I went into action. The boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera monitor in it. And in the storage closet there, way in the back. She said it was way in the back of the boys' bathroom storage closet, but could Kyoko really be right about this? Oh, we're about to find out the secret of this bathroom? So right here? 
It's just a normal storage closet, as far as I can tell. The secret Kyoko told me about. Could it really be hidden here? She said it was way in the back of the storage closet. But I mean, seriously? Without thinking, I placed my hand on the back of the storage closet. And suddenly, as if I were being yanked in. At the same time as I heard that sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. Secret tunnel through the mountain. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. I had fallen through the back of the storage closet. Huh? It turned out the back wall was like a revolving door and I made my way to the other side. Just like Kyoko had said. In the boys' bathroom on the second floor, there's a storage closet. And way in the back of that closet, there's a secret room. So this is the secret room. But what's in here? A stool and a bookshelf. It's just a normal desk with normal drawers. Well, that, that was good to check. There's a bunch of files and what looks like volume after volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Hope Speak Academy Student Registry? This is the only thing in here not covered in dust. Has someone been looking at it recently? I slipped the file into my hand, but before I had a chance to take a look at it, a slope of paper fell out of the file, and I turned my attention to it. What? what's this? You must not leave. That, that's kind of weird. I could understand if it said, like, I can't leave, but you must not leave? What is this? My head feels funny. This strange sensation. It's like deja vu. Those words, you must not leave. I've seen them somewhere before, but I can't quite remember. What, what do I know? What don't I know? I... I... Oh! A strange sound rang out through my head. Freddy Fazbear was right behind me. It felt like I was shaking my brain back and forth. And then, darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. Uh, ow. Was that the smack? <laughs> Was that the smack of 87? Was that the smack of 87? Apparently something hit me and I lost consciousness. What did you just miss? Uh, Gavin, we're finding out, we're finding about FNAF lore right now. That's all I understood. But Fetty, Fetty Fazbear stole all the books and knocked me out. The dull throbbing pain in my head proved that much at least. Oh dang, they left a box of tissues. An empty bookshelf. Empty? Gone. It's all gone. The yearbooks, the student registry, and even the note that I've fallen on the floor. It's all gone? What does this mean? But my brain refused to do any more work. The insistent pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. For now, I should go back to my room, get some rest. Uh, you probably shouldn't do that because if you get big head pain and you try to sleep it off without doing anything, you might die. That's actually... That's actually a cause of death. My body was heavy with pain, my mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself back toward my room. Somehow I made it back to the first floor of the school. <clears throat> the farther I walked, the more I felt. Things are getting blurry. Can't see it in front of me. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that... <sighs> As if from a vast distance, I heard a sound. It was faint, but undeniable. That sound is coming from the gym. As I desperately hold my shaky frame toward the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. What's going on? It can't be nothing. Here? In the gym? going on in the gym i slowly opened the door but i didn't make a sound as i opened the door to the gym the sounds coming from inside meanwhile 
only intensified that much more. Not sha 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 sha. What? It's, it's doing what? What is going on? Sakura and Monokuma? Before me, raged a battle beyond anything unhumanly possible. N no one saw not human, that's for sure, but regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to move or even breathe. Why, you? What do you think you're doing? Is Sakura in ultra instinct mode? Deal? The deal? I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Is Sakura the sp hmm. Okay. What? But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? What am I looking at? What am I hearing? A hostage? Then could it be? The mastermind spy is... Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that though. But now we're down to seven students remaining. We're six and one spy. To be continued next time, chat. Holy f flip. That was insane. That was insane. But of course, I hope all of you enjoyed that. That was, that was bollocks. That was crazy insanity. My goodness, though. Okay, that's enough of that. But of course, chat, I will catch you next time. I'll be back on Friday with Super Metroid. But I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. If you haven't followed, please do for more streams like this. I upload almost every day on my YouTube channel, Optics by Night. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, all that stuff. Until next time, everybody, have a good night and enjoy your time. Bye-bye.